annoying for the for the Scarif Mage as well, right? Because the TA, if you silence her before refraction, like she's died, she's dead every single time. If this is just like a smoke ink, you're gonna silence Avatars, he's gone. With uh... so it definitely it goes both ways. If they are ahead on the side of unknown, Forest Studios could struggle. Uh, yeah, I think this is an overall interesting draft. I would probably say I prefer Fire Studios a bit more, but not by much. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty close. I can see a you know tiny timber saw get out of control, and then with the forty uh, level fifteen talents of the Shadow Fiend, you have a lot of pushing power behind you to take down buildings. Viper is here that falls off very quickly. Uh, Jenkins on the Sand King. I think he's going to have to be the more impactful hero this game. He's going to have to be the playmaker. Because, like, I mean, you need a pipe guaranteed this game, but you also need to have some uh, quick initiation so that you can get those supports on the back lane. Because this Skyrath Mage and Rubik are just going to be hiding all the way in the back and uh, in the trees and hard to find. You're going to need to use those traps from the TA to try and scout them out and be able to get the jump in so i mean because of specifically that reason just the traps alone i think the ta is a very solid choice to try and find these supports okay so nothing crazy happening here uh... so far so good timber saw now, that is the lane that i'm a bit scared off uh they do have a lot of damage as we said but uh the titan not strength hero and ta does have refraction although it is a meld level one ta well, they can do a bit of damage to try and keep him away but that's why you got the et because the et does about the same just runs at you Luckily enough, uh, Skyrath Mage is one of the fastest heroes in the game, so you can try and run away, but not as fast as the... Look at that ET with that spirit buff, already 377 movement speed. Not fun. Not fun in the slightest. It's a trap. Oh, yeah. Very annoying, even if you were the Timber Saw with the... Uh, oh, looks like we are back. Some keyboard issues. All right, so yeah, that lane. I don't think there's gonna be too much action just yet. It's probably level two, level three, where we get to see real fights going on. The mid lane is an interesting one too, because the viper. You can, you can poke the tiny, but you don't want to use your mana level one, right? You usually want to go for the kill level three. So your mana management meta matters a lot. And as you're trying to manage your mana, that tiny can't all deny you. He has a lot of base damage. Mm -hmm. uh, tiny is pretty good at exactly that. Pretty grab. Does have, tend to have a lot of HP. So is actually one of the better heroes to, you know, survive magic damage. Oh, but right dead. now, yeah, he's dropping very low to Ionilate. And we'll need to hope that the ticks aren't too much because of course with that facet it does get a little bit scary these days but uh yeah the tiny is gonna just be forced all the way back in the early laning stage won't have his bottle for any time soon yeah very nicely done there he gets all of that harass now the tiny can barely show in the lane uh okay Top lane, pretty, pretty standard here. DSF having an okay time. Sand King is probably gonna struggle, but they go for the kill. They do manage to secure it. So first blood onto Ionilate in mid, uh, onto uh, the tiny in mid, but top lane. Lanzarote, very low, needs to be... I mean, Rubik is... He doesn't even have a spell level. That kind of shows you exactly how... Terrible of a lane that is initially. It's Rubik is a very weak laner. Yeah, he's a very weak five, right? I think like when you get levels in the mid lane, he can actually be very strong. But 
as a five is just not great. Ooh, I could stomp from SVG. Not fast enough, those wings from the Skyrim Mage. They flap pretty quickly. Fear is oh. walking in. And oh. Evan, one more hit needed. Ooh. Jukers, Juker. Oh no, he's dead. Is he dead? He's not dead, god damn. Uh, he might actually get out. Yeah, no. He's gonna deny himself wow. with the neutral creeps and a lot of time wasted there. Mm -hmm. the Timber Soul gets to farm. Actually, 12 CS, so seconding the charts just yet. I do like the boots level one from Fear, though. Uh, a lot of times you see Blade of Alacri right on this carry IG carries, but they realize they have a lot of kill potential with DT early on, and he gets the boots to be able to follow SVG around. Oh. There's a lot happening top side. They find the kill onto MKID. And a nice kill there for Nushim. Lanzarot could not help him with the spells on cooldown. Oh and my lord. I annihilate. Can he get away? Can he stay alive? He actually tries to turn this one around onto Heaven, but will eventually falter. At least there was a trade. But the tiny with only five last hits is in turmoil. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a really hard one, picking tiny third pick like that, very, very greedy. Uh, at least he will get what? Three creeps here into the Viper TPs, one. Oh, okay, we're not gonna get to see it, but I, I hope he gets all those three, because he needs all of them. Jenkins. Top side will be able to drag the creep wave back. But a 1k net worth lead is, uh, it's not that bad just yet, but I Annihilate's difference in the mid matchup is insanely problematic. Yeah, I mean, he's a really high MMR player, gets to play the advantageous matchup as well. It uh, kind of bound to happen. Uh, we do see some aggression here onto Cloud. Radiance he top should be tower fine. Is under attack. Yeah, Cloud. The Timbersaw doesn't die that easily. The Skywrath uh, neither because they don't have any way to hold the sky in place. He's just fast. He doesn't actually even have uh, any movement speed items yet on the sky, but he's just too fast to catch up. Level 6, I annihilate the mid against the Tiny. Two levels ahead. If you walk out, you're going to get Viper struck and you're dead on Tiny. Oh, yeah. And there he goes. Craggy exterior gets broken. The poison spam, is it going to be enough? Poison attack, ooh, nice quelling uh, tree placement, but he is, uh, he, Scott, he still doesn't have a bottle. Like, yeah, he might as well be dead, right? At least you come back full HP and mana, and the Viper spent some to kill you. He will sap some of the experience, and Heaven's here to protect him. But it still feels awful. I guess he's walking back base. Bottom lane, nah, SVG just with the stomp, but... Cloud is actually going in onto SVG, tries to take him down. He has two points in the chain. the chain. Uh, yeah, three in Timber Chain, two in Reactive Armor, zero points in Whirling Death. Oh. I guess, like, he... You don't really have the mana to spend both spells in the offlane sometimes, and with this build, he can actually... Just poke at the Elder Titan very frequently, right? Without really putting himself in uh, any danger. So I guess, I guess I see what he's going for, especially when you're rotating your four that much. You're Annihilate not in mid, doesn't want to get tossed back. And Viper Strike comes out. He's dancing around his illusions to make sure that the Tiny cannot get oh the toss no. going. And I Annihilate takes down the Tiny with Lanzarote Ruby gonna be the second target. SVG might die here. Tower helps out. Heaven will be able to secure the kill. But I Annihilate with a double. And that is the Tiny dead once again. Nine last hits in almost seven minutes time. That has to be one of the <laughs> biggest outclasses I've seen in, in a while. And I've been casting a lot this past couple of weeks. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Willow is about to surpass your mid-Tiny. And there's not much Tiny can do, right? This hero doesn't recover easily. You just need to sit in lane and farm because farming with your mana is just too costly for the Tiny. And Viper is a hero that doesn't want to rotate, so technically he can just stay here as much as he wants. TA, though. 
And they get a catch onto Cloud. They don't have any traps, so many can just chain over. But I Annihilate coming through, chains further. He clips himself nicely. There's a trap to be thrown out. He actually <laughs> chains a second time, which is a tiny one. But All right. now we'll be able to walk it off. His wonky build working out to some uh, degree, and the tiny finally gets to farm one wave. Top lane, though. They will find MKID, and that's a big kill, that SF second death so far. Still has pretty decent farm, but they are focusing other targets because the tiny is just not really going to be a factor this game. All right, so looks like the high IQ of Fart Studios so far carrying them through this game. And I mean, I look at this tiny, and I it's really hard to think how you're going to recover. Tiny, like, it's this is not an outclass. This is... This is a hate crime. Yeah, don't don't harass the the brick man as much. He does have his bottle finally, but okay. that blink dagger is gonna take uh, 17 minutes into the game. Shadow Fiend Raccoon being pumped, but does get slept. Can he finally get the spell off so he can actually walk away? Oh, Misses he missed the raise completely. Oh. Jenkins actually just stays alive. Even gets the tip from Newsham right there. Oopsie Daisy, big ol' whiff. I think if he actually has the raises, the Jenkins might have died. Yeah, Jenkins did take a decent Jenkins amount of damage there. I, I, I think you're right. I think he would have actually died if he hit those raises. I know, that's a rotation from Annihilate. We talked about Viper not rotating, but when you have this good of an a start, you can just rotate to the side lanes. They're going to get this free tower. The Tiny is recovering, but he's actually behind the Willow, despite the fact he got like maybe four or five free waves in the mid lane for him. Yeah, it's uh, all looking perfect here for Fart Studios. Yeah, it really is. Uh, there's not a single core that's struggling. They won all three lanes. The Timbersaw is the one, one hero that maybe tied his lane. And it's really on him to try and offset all this. But, well, they also have level 6 in the Skyrim Mage. This is huge. Find, oh, yeah. they're baiting those bounties maybe? Hello, Jenkins. They will finally find themselves a kill with the level 6 on Skywrath Maze. They have the damage. Timbersaw is actually top net worth, which is uh, pretty remarkable. And the supports, like, Heaven is very decently farmed on this Skywrath Mage. Yeah, I mean, third kill of was, the game. His tiny was dying and he was leeching all the experience in the mid lane, right? So he actually got to benefit from the deaths at least. As we will see a Timber TP. Is this just a let's defend the tower or they want to wrap around here? Oh, Cloud. Those are some huge stacks. Yeah, he needs to clear them before they come in and yoink the creeps. Can he kill it off in time? Of course, uh, they might not know. But Jenkins is walking through and he does get pushed back by heaven so that Cloud can continue farming. That's all that they're trying to do. The stolen Viper Strike doing a, a decent amount of damage onto SVG. But the big creeps are the ones that should be able to get stolen. Unless, okay, Cloud still gets one more Ancient Granite Golem. And should be just fine out of this. So all things considered, they did a pretty good job. SF in the meantime is just chilling farming top. Tiny's getting closer to, okay, his boots. Which, <laughs> let, never mind about the Tiny. <laughs> No, yeah, this is definitely fine for... I mean, they, the gold advantage was bordering 3k, and now we're back to 1. As you said, the Shadowfin recovering. The, I don't know how I went able to stand. You're going to have to win some fights. And they find their Sham. Okay. Here, though. Okay, they're walking the high ground again, but Heaven should be left behind. Viper Strike comes out. Cloud on top of the fear ta do they have the damage taken down oh my god in response comes without fear but the cores of the unknown side are still alive and kicking they lose the two supports but they take down fear which is neat and they have the toss combination tiny airlines jenkins needs to burrow onto the high ground will be able to get away and it's the timber saw on the run gets rooted up needs to care for i annihilate sf's actually close in the area which is an interesting move sf by the way has more experience than the viper mid so 
Yeah, that's Even what happened. Even though he had such a good you... advantage, he fell off. Yeah, he rotated to both side lanes, was trying to kind of increase the pace of the game, but... Heaven... Looking for that kill, Burrow Strike misses, Burrow stolen, stolen by Rubik! Holy oh, moly! The supports are doing it right now! And a toss onto the Willow, the crash landing is low, do they have anything else? They have the Arcane Oh, there you Another go! Another slow, and the Burrow, oh. the catch! Five uh, Rubik will be taken down in response, though. They need to try and disengage or, you know, toss him back in. You know you want to. <laughs> but yeah, they're actually playing really well. Primarily the two supports are doing a lot of work. Lanzarote and Heaven. Very true. I mean, the Timber also did a lot there. He was uh, posturing for the previous fight. But at the end of the day, I annihilate not doing as well as we anticipated. They got the towers at least. Can they get this one as well? That would be the last tier one. No OT on the sky, but only four seconds. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Hold on to the building as much as you can. I annihilate. Another toxin gets stolen. Yeah, it's level two. Get the deny, right? I think you're probably... They're actually holding onto the tower. Okay. A lot of damage onto I Annihilate. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Defend this. They will brute force the defenses. The rune is going to be spawning on the top side. Amplify damage for the tiny. Okay. This is, this is looking much better than we anticipated. The blink dagger is still quite far away. But uh, the tiny is doing better. Yeah, the Tiny is doing absolutely outstanding, uh, so far at least, but we still have a lot more to witness. Mm -hmm. Those Kyrak Mage going for that Aetherland, so he wants the uh, very high cast range on the Silence to potentially mess with everyone. Like, this is a great Silence game, already has two points. You do scale cast range with levels, and I think it's almost a thousand range when you have the Aetherland on top of it. Skyrith Mage is such a weird hero because it can do a lot, but you know, once they get BKB, you're just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're Skyrith Mage. I mean, it is slightly better than it used to be, right? At least your silence stays after the BKB is ending. You do some damage, but for sure it's not ideal. And it is a pipe meta, by the way, which Jenkins is about to finish. So all of that extra damage we saw. Might not matter as much once the pipe is on. True. On the other side, you also have Cloud with his pipe finished on the Timber Saw. So mm -hmm. he is going for at least initially for the Aura build. Uh, Tiny is almost done with the Blink Dagger. He's only 1,500 gold behind the Viper. But the big difference is those two supports. Those two are really farmed on the Tiny dire side. Tiny is going to get jumped in mid. Viper Strike comes out with the Bedlam damage as well. Wreckham of Souls from M Kid shoving them all the way back. But they will lose that tier 1 tower that they initially oh no. did not deny. Fear comes out. Dra silence as well. Jenkins, does he take get away? No, he does not. And they make at least a kill happen in response. Okay. Yeah, Tiny dying does hurt, but they're gonna smoke. They still have a lot of Otis here. No Mystic Flare was used, but oh, the Haste Rune is really... I guess you're gonna have to get SVG instead. They catch him on the high ground. He's on the run. SVG chased by Cloud. Mystic Flare comes in. He does lose his life. MKid needs to be careful. The roots are annoying by the Dark Willow. The Death Reckon of Soul does a lot of damage. Fear now is going to be surrounded by enemies. He's looking for a kill. We'll find the Sky Wrath. And the uh, damage of the Timber Saw plus Tiny is going to be enough. He has a toss on the Tiny, but the Burrow Strike in response, and they stay alive. Fear survives everything. Refraction is a saving grace in that engagement, and they wipe the side of Unknown. That haste run was so clutch for Annihilate. Like... He can show up, he tanks a lot of spells, doesn't get slow, doesn't die, re-engages. I guess with any other room he probably would have died, and that's actually a good smoke coming from Unknown. But uh, yeah, sometimes you get unlucky. 
here, going for the old school build, right? I think this Deso Dragonlance Rush is pretty rare these days. We see a lot of the blink shards, and in this game, I wouldn't mind having a shard eventually. Yeah, I would. Uh, I mean, the plus of the Deso is the fact that you can take Roche pretty quickly. <clears throat> That's about yep. it. Yeah, and they probably want to do that. You have the attack speed is low here of this uh, Viper. Can probably go there. Uh, can you solo with the Viper? That's not really what solo means, but can both of them do it? Um, I mean, someone just has to tank it, and then TA can take it. Yeah, I think with the ET, we're gonna go for it. There we go. Into the pit they go. Uh, that fight did really show that BKBs are a necessity. Also, Cloud ran out of mana instantly, and right now he's got a Kaya, so he has a tool to try and circumvent that issue. Yeah, that's the problem with the Aura Timbersaw, right? You don't really hit as hard, you don't really farm as fast. So, it's, it is something that kind of takes away from what Timbersaw wants to do. But in this game, like, there's no way you're not going to get the, the pipe first item. Your supports are too weak. And even with the pipe, though, you still got to care about this Templar Assassin that's doing a lot of physical. Already has a blink, by the way. So the supports, no gold scepters. This might be tough on them. Jenkins. Sandstorm gets stolen. Toss back onto I Annihilate. But he doesn't take any damage. He also has a Maid Slayer right now. Does have, however, if his entire team's not going to come help out. Ooh. Fear jumping in onto Cloud. Timbersaw is not the best target to try and burst. Hmm. I mean, they have a That's really a good ward. Game. Great toss, toss back. back. Oh, again. another one. And... Yeah, Tiny just walking away. Burrow comes in aggressively. What is Jenkins, Jenkins doing? He's just dead. Fear wants to keep on fighting, but yeah, you guys are just fading away right now. And the casters need to disengage. Yeah, the casters maybe might be too overhyped there as if they can get another toss back. Oh, okay. almost. What a hero, huh? This refraction spell is pretty good. Pretty good. I think if he actually Indeed. threw his tree, uh, the TA wouldn't be able to blink. Because he did break the refractions, but, uh, you know, he, he didn't do anything else. Oh, Cloud, Timbersaw. This might be a big kill. And they finally find the Timbersaw. The rest of the team on the run. Heaven's almost out of mana. He is going to build up into the Ghost Scepter, which is arguably the best item you can get this game if you're the supports on the side of unknown tiny's act they actually oh. want to go back in blink in toss back once again and svg zapped down by lanzarote he's alone here only new sham protect him so far sending is engaging from the left side but you do want to be a bit careful battlefield showing bottom too so maybe that's what gives uh far studios the uh, confidence they can stay here Yeah, the uh, SF is farming nicely, M-Kid. He's got the BKB done, he's going for Daedalus. Once Daedalus is secured, you do a ton of damage. To Rubik, Glimmer Cape, ain't gonna keep you alive because uh, Stinger finishes the job. Yeah, I think you have to give up this tower. The, the timing is way too strong. You know, the gold advantage though, very minor, and we're seeing how the stalls back plays are very hard for for our students to deal with at the moment. Well, I, guess I mean, that's the beauty of Tiny. All you need is a blink. Uh, you know, that's why Pulse 4 Tiny, You, I mean, no one plays it anymore, but it's still one of the most scary heroes to play against. Probably the scariest hero to play against when you go high ground push. True. Tiny Tossback. I don't know if I find Tiny Tossback scarier or Pudge Hook scarier. Tossback is easier to win. I would say I, the put the, I the guess hook so, can be but... more effective, but I think on average, Tiny Toss is better. And the problem with Tiny Toss, especially as a core, is just it puts you in a position where you die. Yeah, but it's your core, so scary. you might not die. And you can I mean, if you do the Tossback play, then, you know, 
You mm -hmm. jump in the middle of four enemy heroes, toss one back, and you're just left there. That's what a Chad's supposed to be, man. You don't care about yourself. That is true. You care about and your this friend. is NA. Everyone's a Chad. Very true. Aegis is expiring here, and a very deep move coming from Unknown, but looks like Fart. So weird to see just randomly say <laughs> Looks fart like Fart. <laughs> Fart will disengage. Sorry, that was funny. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like fart, yes. Oh, yes. they oh, found gosh, fear. Up. That's a big kill. Fear is dead. Aegis is going to get popped. But in response, okay. nice to have fear. Coming out, they're all grouped together. MK with the Wreckham of Souls we'll needs to send out. them all packing. But they lose the two cores on the side of Unknown. And they get away in the nick of time. Great blink there from fear. And SVG is a god. He got the Earth Splitter to cancel the BKB Requiem, and that's why he forgot to blink out. I think that was going to be a perfect one. So, really nice timing to you know recognize exactly when the TA was going to spawn. Well, Requiem of Souls has like the, this weird thing where I think you can still cast a spell. So I think he probably popped refraction. Can still pop refraction in time. Again, yeah, I mean, you were right on top of him, right? It, it, and you're gonna even if you pop refraction, it's so many souls that I think you still just lose all of them before you can blink. I mean, Dota, I still don't understand some things like when you nightmare arrow someone, they can still stay alive. Oh, nice, Mr. Claire, catch on to Viper. Uh, they can still pop the BKB in between the nightmare arrow. Yeah, it's like the that ice I've never effect, understood. right? But now they change yeah. that. Oh, uh, Timber Sod dropping a little bit low, but in response, oh look at the damage. Lord. Up. Tiny Airlines coming in to play. SVG and Fear on the run. And God, they do some very nutty combos with that tiny toss. I've seen, you know, it's been kind of... There's a pattern how these fights for Fart are coming. It's always the... TA and Elder Titan running away, so like they're the sane players of that team. Oh, Ooh. speaking of running away, Fear's not going to. Fear got caught. I feel like Jenkins is YOLOing a bit too much. He He's going deep when the TA doesn't really have a way to, to be doing damage when he initiates. Yeah, I would say so as well. It's... they're... <laughs> they're going a little bit too far forward um, yeah. in their attempts. And it is really hurting them. So he's a lot of these engagements. Team. Going to going to take this game one. They're slow. I mean, considering how much of a stomp it was, they are slowly gaining ground here. And he's almost the same net with the Jenkins. The Viper That's... is pretty farmed though, and he is going for more of like a right click build than the other Viper that we cast. So there is some late game potential, but it's still very far away. Yeah, it's not the most ideal at the moment. With uh, their build, they need to get a couple more tools. Jenkins is going for Yules. I think that's a very good choice, uh, especially against the Mystic Flare that has been taking them down a lot. Yeah, I'm surprised Skyrath is not going to go for anything more aggressive and like you know, Ags Rush or something, but I'm more of a defensive Skyrath build. Mage is looking decent this game, to be honest. He's 11 and 3 on Heaven, bro. Radiant's bottom tower Thank you. Attack. He's 11 and 3. This is insane. Uh, is he? Oh, yeah, so he is from Ukraine. So not only he's 11 and 3, he is also playing with God knows how much ping. Actually, the um we're gonna cast them after this the post offlaner for shopify is also from ukraine the new offlaner oh, on gecu he's actually playing maybe... from utrecht uh, from uh the netherlands in the liquid oh. facilities okay how do you know that i he i he used to be one of my players oh okay <laughs> are you are you envious no 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 I just, uh, I was surprised is all. I just know him as, we we, play, we had him as a safe laner, now he's an off laner, so that actually makes a lot of sense, because he played like four heroes safely. I see, I see. Okay, so it's going to be Tormentor time here. They're going to steal that one from Unknown. At the same time, the Unknown super deep on their side. This is going to be 
a bit awkward as they realize that they're all on this side of the map. Radiant, Radiant scan, a good position from Fart Studios. Fashion UA just scan. beat Mouse. What the hell? Ah. That's funny. That's that's very surprising. Okay, the more you know. Okay, yeah, I mean this qualifiers have fucking bloodbath. Wait, I keep it's uh, still one one. Did it just end? Uh yeah, it just ended oh, okay. two one. God damn. Or one two, whatever. It's showing. They're gonna head into the pit. Roche number two to be secured. They can all take the gateway though. And they do have a psionic trap. Sanking is chucking on the area. Are they gonna take the gateway or are they just gonna wait? I think that's until just, that's suicide, the enemy right? Made. You can't really. It's uh, an ET sanking. Yeah. yeah. It would it's be very risky. Kind of insane how somehow Far Studios gets to Roche for free on the dire side. Just uh, outplaying them in the map on at the end of the day. They steal the tormentor and somehow they still get to farm the ages uh, it's gonna be a tier two at least but they're going to knock at your tier threes it looks like pretty big wave coming uh, the big question is of course uh, gonna be can you keep the push on towards the high ground against the tiny toss back do you even want to dare to attempt it like yeah sure you got it a TA with uh, Aegis, but if you get tossed back without BKB as well, um, you're just stuck. Radiant's you just die there. And then you die a second time. Oh, speaking oh, of dying. Big catch. Can they take him down? Break comes out. Chain away, but gets Yules nicely done by Jenkins. Also loses his uh, Crimson Guard buff because of it. And Lanzaro trying to get back on the high ground, but he doesn't have any mobility. Will be able to disengage on the side. Heavens is about to lose his life. Denies the XP <laughs> rune at the very least. Oh, goes, goes after the DP. DP. And he yeah, is what a out chat. in there. Ho, ho, ho. Big Willy Gaming right there from Heaven. Wow. All right, he's the MVP for me. I don't even care who wins. This has been... I mean, I thought this hero was dead. I thought this hero had nothing else to give to the world of Dota. And he's just having the game of his life right now. He is playing fantastically. That is indeed correct. Okay, Burrow right. in. Jenkins sanking. The Rec Room gets sent out. Jenkins dropping though. The big crits from the Shadow Fiend hurt like crazy. Shadow Fiend's going for the man fight up against I Annihilate. They did lose the Rubicon on the other side. Uh, fear. Wants to go in for the fight, right click damage, Cloud is back alive though, the Tiny is 5 seconds away from the blink toss back. Okay, and so... they know exactly the timing on his blink, so they back off. Alright. That has have tiny. damage though. Whew. Yeah, this hero is crazy. He will... He has evasion already. This is not a game where I think you're going to be able to afford an MKB slot on fear. And if he eventually gets a butterfly, it's going to be really hard to take down. So far, he's going BKB. He's going Daedal Satanic. I am actually kind of curious. On um, The SF has three points in Feast of Souls, but he also has three points in Attributes. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm kind of wondering... Why not finish one or the other? Why mix? Because uh, the scaling of Fist of Souls is garbage, right? Yeah, but why would you then go for three points in Feast of Souls instead of only one and then the rest in stats? Because... I don't know, like the second point is fine, but... the th Yeah, I'll probably just keep two points in Feast of Souls and, and then get the rest, right? The third one yeah. is pretty bad. The, the fourth yeah, one is at a pretty horrible. much like you couldn't. You might as a well. Percentage buff, it it goes worse and worse and worse the further you level it, which is very weird for a spell. Yeah, I mean it is a. I guess it's not even that crazy of a spell, right? The soul cost that that part of the spell I really don't like. I know that spells that have a downside are cool and balanced and whatnot, but. In the case of Shadow Fiend, I, I really don't like it. 
Yeah, one of the fun parts, um, I think, and so, you know, Deadlock player right now, is that their I mean. ulti, their spells all become re like super cool with the last point. I love that. Hmm. Yeah, and oh, uh, Mystic Flare invisible. Stays alive on fear, walks away. Still has that Aegis for another 35 seconds. Burrow in onto the Shadow Fiend. They want to go for him. He has a BKB. Is going to try and disengage. Oh. Reckon with Souls is not going to come out in time. He is dead. Tiny with a nice Avatar throws out the tree. Jenkins almost dropped dead there. But the Tiny is going to get spotted because SVG uses his spirit perfectly. And now Cloud on the Timber Saw needs to just chain out of there. Uh, we still don't have a trap, uh, a shard on fear. Just want to point that out. There's still no silence. Uh, to be used. He doesn't know what a shard is. You know, his I think, I, yeah, I think he, old man fear, you know, he's still playing in 2012 uh, Dota. Yeah, I mean, give me a break. He is, I'm sure he's going to figure out SVG is going to explain to him. Yo, fear, get, get the shards pretty good. Uh, maybe game number two. I'm pretty sure they're not going to need the shard for this one. Although the Glyph is buying some precious time for a strike. Guy dropping low. <laughs> Will be taken down. <laughs> Heaven loses life. Cloud with the Aghanim Scepter in response. Fear actually needs to be careful on the TA. Will be able to stay alive for now. And the Timber Saw's Aghanim Scepter just ends. But High Ground still not broken. I'm surprised this is only a 2k goal lead. Even though it feels like Far Studios has been in control for most of the time. They're also losing a lot of farm considering how much they're, they're grouping up. Smoke from the side of unknown. Uh, they have all Otis, but the Shadow Fiend doesn't really have a lot of souls, so it is a bit of an awkward fight. Radiant yeah, I'll need the 14 souls. But if they can get it, it might good, be a good surprise, however. Will it New be Sean. a nice catch? New Shim, the one in front. Avalanche holds him in place. But the four staff gets him out of dodge and Newsham stays alive. Smoke gank tanked as well. And they will have to go back and lick their wounds. But very importantly, Ro next Roche is going to give a free Aghanim Scepter. So that is crucial to either defend or secure yourself. Yeah, and if the gold lead is relatively even. I could see Unknown contesting that Roche. It's just that the TA traps make it pretty hard for them to go into the area they've been burning through a lot of smokes not really getting that much out of it but the tiny does have uh okay he did buy back and she doesn't have that bkb burrow strike oh, on the rubik now it's coming out the mystic flare as well into jenkins uses himself up just in the nick of time also has the pipe to try and run away is going to keep him alive and gets out of dodge no one dead but a lot of damage and a lot of fear. M Kid coming in from the side. That the Shadow, Shadow Fiend Fiend. is going for the massive engagement here. Reckon of Souls gets sent out. The Avalanche misses just in time. Fear gets out. Bro in. I Annihilate gets blown up. Nice stomp onto two. And SVG is trying to right click in. Lanza wrote the Rubik's on the run. Can he disengage? They find three kills, but Fear is still alive. Burrow right back. Skywrath goes for the TP attempt. And the. I did not know that Cyblades goes through Ghost Scepter, but the more you know. <laughs> okay, so you're gonna poke high ground here. There is no buyback, even though they don't know. Ideally, they're just fishing for the buybacks. Only two heroes. Yeah, this is this is scary. This game has been way closer than I expected. I I was kind of under the impression we were gonna see a two zero. And after watching this game, it's super close, right? I don't think this is necessarily a 2 for either side. I know this this could definitely be a three-game series. Lanzarote, Rubik in trouble. And the Rubik, Burrow back, staying alive. Mystic Flare onto Fear. He's actually going to get blown up. And a huge kill comes in with the Dark. The, the Nushim kill coming in. Dark Willow gets taken down. And that is... Disastrous. Didn't have a BKB available. He also got hit by the E-Blade Mystic Flare. So a ton of magic damage with the Avatos on top. Heaven on that Sky Wrath Mage is playing a superb game. 
absolutely disastrous here. Roche is going to be up in a minute 20, so they will have the TA back in time for it, but... You know, they're, they're playing way too aggressive, way too far forward, way too risky. But the problem is, on the opposing side... They, they get a lot of good fights here on the side of Unknown. But can they capitalize on it? That's the big difference. Because it still feels the entire game that the aggression does lie with the Radiant side, with Fart Studios. Yeah, like the, the Blink Avalanche isn't super effective anymore. And they haven't really been that good at getting the tossbacks uh, in the later portion of the game. Because when, when they were playing defensively with wars that they were camping and playing around, it was easier to get the tossbacks. But, you know, in these nighttime fights with no vision, it is definitely much harder. They're starting to get some vision around the Warden Rubik. The gem on Lanzarote definitely helps. But uh, Roshin 25. Hopefully, we're going to see Unknown caring a bit more about Roshan because they, they let those slip two times already. Yeah, the uh, Rosh is a very important uh, aspect now. 10 seconds until it respawns. Aghanim Scepter Roche, that's the triple. The most dangerous one. They're going to smoke up on Fart Studios and head top. There is no one on the side of Unknown that's even considering it, it seems. They scanned? I, I don't know. Oh, no. The scan was Radiant Scan, I think. I mean, they're going to lose another one. Like, I, I, are, do they feel like they're weak and they cannot contest Roche? Like, they have a 6k goal lead. And Fart Studios you know just how gets free Roche again. Just going to throw this out there for you. This is how you can see Fear's old man Fear. He had a, a trap in the pit. Oh. Uh. <laughs> the scout out of Roach will respawn. Yeah, yep. Yeah. He had multiple. He has two. You are right. That's it's old okay, man Fear right there. It's okay. You're old, but you're still, still doing well. Don't worry. We're also old. We're absolutely ancient. Old um, and useless. At least you can still play Dota here. At least you can still play Dota. And you are arguably the best analyst out there. True. After Syndrome, though. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, but I... Okay, so a uh, panelist. Uh, okay, so yeah, you're right. You're right, because Fear... Yeah, he's, he's way more of a panelist than, uh, than a caster. The high oh, ground they go. Or at least wow. Cloud is trying to force them back. And he does. I and I have laid Big TP's bottom. So they're trying to catch them off guard, but the only one here is Heaven. Huh. Oh, they're coming from two different Heavens going for the TP attempt. Burrow is going to catch him out, but that should mean that Cloud gets the TP to safety. They only lose this guy. Ooh. Yeah, sure. Three TP. Oh, he doesn't have buyback. Oh, well. In a minute, he will get it back. Um, but... Yeah, that's uh, not too shabby. They force yeah. out three TP's bottom lane. They know that the entirety of the Fart Studios is bottom. Uh, They're gonna get a free tier two because of those TP's. Now I kind of want to be on the bottom side as Fart Studios. So they gave Elder Titan the Ags, by the way. Oh, it's I mean, it's it's a good ET Ags game. Is it better than the Sand King? I'm not sure. Uh, definitely better than Viper, definitely better than Willow. Yeah, but the TA is pretty good, though. Fear doesn't know how to use it, bro. That is true. Fear has, he's like, <laughs> TA has an axe? I'm gonna what teleport? you want about? I have Blink Dagger. I don't need to teleport anywhere. Uh -huh. I have Blink Dagger. I, why would I get a teleport when I have Blink Dagger? It's a lot better. Instant. Got a channel for two seconds. They call me old man. So 30 seconds, no glyph on the dire side. I feel like this is a free lane of barracks. You may be like you try to dissuade them, but you don't really engage. Yeah, that's what you do. You posture, you poke with confidence, but you don't initiate a fight. Just wait for the Skyrath to be back. It's really on to Fart Studios to pressure you. Or well, they have uh, an absolutely fantastic toss back and uh, <laughs> you're screwed. Yeah, that's nah, also the uh, other one. problem. Do they have Ooh, bloodstone timber? Okay, that's not very common. 
They don't have a dispel, right, on the side of uh, Radiant just yet. No nullifier. Uh, they uh, have Yules. Fear is going um, for it, actually. He, just, he has the gold, probably just waiting for the Aegis to expire. Okay, oh, uh, well, Fear is going to lose his first life. And now Tiny... Ah, Ogre Seal Totem. I love that item. Fear is going in. Pops the BKB. Go for the Tiny area. Tiny with the BKB. Bye-bye. See you later. BKB versus BKB trade. Yeah, sure. I mean, Aegis is gone. They can't push high ground anymore against the Tiny, so... Sure. Thank you. That's going to delay the game even more. You know they got a free Ags on the Radiant side and still the net worth advantages for the Dire? That, that's weird. Yeah, I mean, they stole two Tormentors, I want to say. And yet, this game is still looking quite even. I can see why, you know, the game that they played in the qualifiers last 50 minutes. They, they can definitely play well, but the team fight execution has been a little bit over the place, so even though they've been like, you, you can see that they have the right idea about how they want to play but when he actually gets to make everyone execute to, to the level they want, it is not working 100% Yeah, no, it's not where they have a I'm, I'm curious how much scrimming there has been uh, realistically it's like, speaking. imagine Imagine you can implant the brain of SVG on Slax, right? So out of nowhere, Slax actually understands Dota to a level he never thought possible. But it just don't really have the skill to play. And I'm not saying they're playing like Slax. I'm just saying that there's a disconnect on what they want to do and how to do it. You know what I mean? Yeah. The, the, the intent is correct. Yeah. The button pressing is not. Now they will smoke again here. I'm not, it's just so awkward for them to smoke. I actually would like to see them smoking towards a lane that's pushing and see them like actually hitting a tower. Because their catch is too bad. Their catch is pretty terrible. I guess El Titan needs to get a shard. They, I don't really know what they're doing, Top. <laughs> like, what? They, why would they be there? There's zero reason to walk that area. I the think creeps they are saw the base. smoke. They saw the smoke and they and they are just they wanted to be in a position where they they have an advantage, right? They have wards and vision here. Yeah, but this is like uh, wasting time. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I mean, if you had a TA with an Ags now. You'd well, be everywhere. Hold your horses here, because I'm pretty sure Fear knows what a moon shard is. I think that one's going to be purchased first. And I'm also pretty sure he knows what a rapier is. is under attack. I would assume that that item still exists. Um, you know, for old man Fear. Oh, yeah. Probably still has He's a clue. Gonna look at it and like, what? 300 damage? They buffed this? Awesome. You know, does he know it actually got nerfed? Uh, he's gonna be like, what? It doesn't... Uh, it has a, sp a spell amp version? Yeah, magic damage DA. <laughs> Jenkins TP into the bottom side. Did, um... When what did it have True Strike and when did it get removed? What had True Strike? Uh, uh Rapier. Because I it had it, uh, it at one point, but I don't know if it had it when a long ago, when time ago. One maybe twenty two. That should help. That was when you got like do some manta uh, rapier and win the game. Yep, yep. Ages rapier. Let's go. That was pretty dumb. That was a really good patch. Okay, they find the timber saw and very quickly blow him uh, up. He can't even cast a single item in his inventory. He doesn't actually even have a BKB, that's why. But uh, nice kill. Next Roche will be possibly... I mean, it depends exactly on how long it's going to take to respawn. There's a Amplified Damage on the Shadow Fiend. Ooh, and he He's has also level 25, 25 now. That's huge. Uh, he did go Went for, for the cast the speed. So I was not expecting that one. Okay. They see the T8 speed. plus back okay. is there. Goes in for the fight. Oh, they, they get have the, the kill. Damage. Fear blown up. Chasing for more Jenkins. Do they have invis detection? 
Uh, does not seem to be the case. Mkid, he's walking up front all on his lonesome. Has a satanic, but can't get a single spell off. In response, SVG will die, but this is huge. They make it a two for one trade because Mkid walks out in front without anyone from his team in the vicinity. Longest rush on of all time as well. That's a darn long timer, which doesn't really benefit. Actually, it benefits Far Studios because it will be on the Radiant side. So. Pretty much, for the most part, in the Radiant side, so... I'm gonna be I happy about that. Both sides I think both sides have enough damage to kill it um, before it moves, if they immediately start on it. Yeah, well, they, they never really stepped on the Roshan Pit as uh, unknown. I think they don't even... I think they're afraid of that area. It, it doesn't exist. It's it's yeah. an illusion. It is... It is just a tale. Uh... I get him Scepter on the Skyrath Mage, and he's approaching level 25. We're gonna have that Arcane Bolt Priestess spell immunity. That's huge. 25 on the Tiny as well. Smoke time. Well, they are gonna head out with another smoke. Haste room for the Tiny. Jenkins walks in. Bots out the Tiny, but they were a little bit slow on the response. Yeah, Shiva's been annoying there again since Blink Daggers. Uh, how's the Viper looking? AC going BKB, pretty pretty strong on I and I Highlight. He doesn't have a lot of network, but definitely does a lot of damage. Does have a BKB now. Mm -hmm. And I guess the Shard is pretty nice with the armor reduction in combination with the TA's Deso. Yeah. Rubik does have a Lotus Orb, pretty big against the Burrow Strike of Jenkins. I am happy that Fear does have a shard now. Might have been that he got from Tormentor, I don't know. I think he actually bought it, but might be wrong. I mean, if you waited... Oh no, the Elder Titan still needs the shard. By the way, they are again ignoring Roche completely. Absolutely unwilling to take a fight there. They kill Tormentor, so now the Fart Studios knows that they are towards the right side of the map. That happened and literally they every Roche. Le every time they went for the Tormentor, Roche spawned and Fart Studios got a free Roche. They scanned the pit. Roche is up in 15 seconds. Do they have enough stun lock and control to kill it in time? That's the big question. Uh, I think they do. I think they do. You know what? I just wanted to see them poke the tower here as a no. Like, yeah, they definitely do. Like... <laughs> <laughs> Viper got his level 25 as well, so he's got uh, Universal. And another free Ags. Who's going to get the Ags? Uh, Sanking. Okay. They gave it to Jenkins. Look at it, it's a 40 piece to the outpost. Holy crap. Under attack. Can. Oh no. Battlefield gets bound. Catch. Oh, MK. Gets bashed. Melt hit bash. Blown to smithereens. He actually went melt hit bash? Yep, that's old man fear. Yeah, that's definitely old man fear. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, the, the, it's doable this time because the old refraction was like plus six or something, which was broken. Yeah, plus nine. I don't know. It was absurd. Heaven on the disengage. Cloud needs to be careful because we know that he can definitely die. Timber chain back. There's a chase. Jenkins, Burrow. It's not going to connect, actually. And Cloud, can you get the TP away? I hit Bash. Melded Bash is the scary one. Cloud Yules up. He Walk. does pop his ulti. Now the fire comes out. And... I mean, Nushim and I Annihilate are completely in a different position. They are... Did they, they were not scouted just yet. The Tiny is not showing mid, but I think he probably cuts the wave there. 25 on the Skyrim Mage, by the way. Went for the Mystic Flare damage.
This is such a close game. 50 minutes in. Fart Studios up against Unknown, which is actually pretty unknown. No idea who these guys are. Yeah, I mean, they've been... They've been playing better as a team than I expected. It, it, to me, it felt like they were more of a stack, you know, just a random bunch of high more players that joined. But, but in general, even though they, like, are unwilling to uh, go Roche and their smokes have not connected, they haven't really fed by themselves a little bit too much. I think mostly the Shadow Fiend overextended in some fights, just walked a bit too further and died. But overall, they, they're playing better than I expected. This Tiny got... Like, it was so humiliated. I thought the game was going to be over in 20 minutes. Yeah, but they hold on and they stand strong. They stand very, very strong right By now. By the way, the Tiny went for Octarine. Super. Yeah, late. he's had it a while ago, actually. Really? So it's all about more tosses? Just faster BKBs? More toss? More value? 25 second Ogre Seal. Sounds good. Okay, we're back. Is Cloud surviving? I'm gonna place a bet. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, He does have Bloodstone, but he has a Nullifier on him, so he kind of has to wait out the Nullifier, which just got casted. Mm. <laughs> no, he's dead. I think... I mean, Pike doesn't silence, get removed, right? so that's a plus. Uh, but the... I guess because they cannot silence him, he might just be able to keep Timber Chain in a way. Right? How do you how do you stop him? Oh. Burrow. Yeah, that's, that's a good way to stop it. But he does have Bloodstone now, so with the pipe, you also can use the Crimson again. Happy Center comes out. Try to timber chain, gets to the back end, but eventually does get taken down by the big fat juicy sanking ult. In the meantime, Heaven gets caught out by I Annihilate and Nushim in a different direction, but Tiny is uh, oh, trying to cut the creep wave. However, nice fortification keeps the creeps alive. They have catapults bottom. I want to see this tiny forcing things. He does have a shard. Wow. He's and also the Hyperstone, so they they will have to defend, otherwise their bottom... They have no fortification, they just use fortification. They actually might push faster, this tiny bro. Has a Solar Crest. Yeah. This is, uh... Th this might just be a full set of racks. He, he can just go mid as well. I, yeah, I don't Shadow see why not. is up with double buybacks here. They can TP and actually take this fight. This is a bit scary. Second glyph being used. Okay. That's pretty big. They get a Rax for Rax trade. I don't think they see a big problem in that one. Uh, I'm, they should have probably continued on the time. I think that's when you buy back, set. right? They're going for the second one. You gotta, you gotta do something about this. Are they holding the buybacks? Buyback. Well, there's gonna be the buyback coming in. Tiny guts, meld hit, bash needs to. Ogre Seal totes him out of there. Mystic Flare comes flying through. Nice oh, two-man barrel comes in. And the Shadow Fiend. Can he get any right clicks in? No, he is dead. Da is going to die and not have a buyback available. Cloud needs to chain back towards the fountain. With a nice Ava double toss into the fountain. Fear is going to yeah. lose the Aegis. And, oh, nice stomp. We'll make sure the Rubik can't get the lift off. But the double toss back into the fight. You have a timber side. You can make a filthy play. Looking for that toss back. Who do you even want? Uh, I mean, I don't think this is too late. They push too fast. Yeah, they're going to get the catches. Tiny dropping low. Cloud needs to try and help out the tiny. Tiny has a buyback available. Has the double toss. toss back to the combo, combo. But oh, he gets Bramble. hit by the Bramble. And... Oh. They will just focus on towards the Ancient, which will drop momentarily. It will be Fart Studios taking the game, but it took them 53 minutes to secure game number one in this best of three. Yeah, I mean, it was a win, but it was a very hard one. A couple of hiccups here and there from Fart Studios, but you know, in there, they might really be good at it. Yeah, I mean, it's two ranks higher than his TA that we saw previous. Uh, 
the previous game. But the big difference is, yeah, TA is pretty tanky, but Lone Druid is like a whole new level of tanky um, with the Spirit Link shared lifesteal shenanigans uh, and what true form you get 12 armor and... Yeah, the thing I see this game is that they don't really have either a Shivas or a Scotty Builder on the side of uh, Unknown. So if this actually goes late, that region is going to be a problem. And I'm sure no one here is going to buy a Vessel either. It definitely doesn't look like a Vessel kind of game. Uh, Shivas, I mean, Shivas definitely a, multi, a couple, of, uh, probably on the uh, Mars needed. The... AC? No, no, I mean... I mean, yeah. they don't have Shivas or Scotty Builders on Unknown, right? Against oh, on Unknown. Yeah. Against, uh... I mean, I don't really know about the Leica. Maybe he's a Scotty Builder. I think that Bristol Cause... maybe can buy it, right? Because you amplify your spell I think damage. he's more... Uh, Bristol's more of a Shivas. I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Scotty think... would be... Pro I, I can see Lycan go for Scotty because he's universal. True. But he's probably... I, I'm actually curious what build he's going to go for, because you can either go for the Helm of the Overlord build with big-ass creeps that, you know, you can cut creep waves and push faster, or you go for, like, the Harpoon build, which is the other end, where you're just a right-clicker. Mm -hmm. Very good against Murata. You can cancel the leap through the Harpoon. Um, you know what? I think Lycan's wolves should be called... Beta wolves when you don't get the alpha wolves facet. I think that would be funny. Yeah, but no one wants to play with a beta wolf. Oh, you know, that's how everyone played Lycan back in the day. We we're all betas until these TikTok influencers started selling crap to us. I mean, to be fair, and this game is still in beta as well, so. <laughs> It wouldn't be wow. too surprising. Let's see, what do we have? I Annihilate on the Voker mid. Jenkins with the Mars offlane does, uh, I mean, it's a little bit better of a hero to, you know, go YOLO with because of the uh, Dauntless. Yeah. Uh, or is it Blitz? One of the two, yeah, it's Dauntless, right? Where if there's no allies nearby. We'll get HP region. Yeah. The more they are outnumbered. So this is more of a YOLO kind of hero than the Sanking, which actually is wild because Sanking is a super YOLO hero with the Bloodstone build. But yeah, I think he, he got Bloodstone like his fourth item or something. Um, so he, he couldn't realistically go early YOLO. In case the and then he thought late game he was tanky enough. More sustain. He has this freaking Mars to work with. So we might get to see Fear not dying a single time this game. We'll see. No stick on fear. Uh, obviously, you usually don't want to buy the item on Lundrid, but against the Bristol back, could be costly. A <laughs> well, lot of damage top lane. Cloud Bristol back's already going to get first blooded by SVG. Well, that's a good way to start it. Uh, it's also kind of the best moment to kill Bristle because he doesn't have a point in Bristle back. Did he go? Okay, he went for the Warpath one instead of the um, the viscous nasal goo Bristle back thing. Interesting. Which one? Which is also pretty cool. I mean, if you go for the viscous together with like acid spray, you do so much minus armor. Oh, they find a root on to fear. The bear is taking some damage. They got a bear kill. I always wonder why they don't just resummon the bear instead of let it die. Pro players. Yeah, they just gave away 300 gold. Yeah, and a lot of experience. They, even though they actually died in the lane, Cloud now has the same experience as uh, fear does. And nicely done by SVG. Make sure that the creeps don't walk all the way back out of his farm range. Or... I wonder how the mid lane actually unfolds, because usually like, mid Lycan is very good because he just out denies you, but if you drink enough his mana, he's gonna have to buy either a bottle or we'll need to buy some tangos. Yeah, the hero has become a lot stronger these days. The uh... 
Voker laning wise with uh, his facet, so I think Ooh, he should be just good fine. Tree cutting bottom, damn. Lanzarote instantly killing the the spear by eating the the branch. The kid needs to be a bit careful. Doesn't have any regen top side. They will. Uh, Heaven is actually going to get killed by a neutral creep, but M Kid does get taken down by Jenkins. Immediately throws out the high five right there because I don't know. Gotta keep the spirits up. I guess so. Mm. That's also a way you can see it. Time for the Lotus. So Cloud's gonna be pretty happy about that one. Not really. Doesn't really have a lot of mana or HP to work with. No goo just yet. I think probably learns level four in this lane. The Lycan mid does have eight denies, so that's pretty good. And the f the one big plus is as well because he gets mid, he gets solo XP, and um, with that alpha wolves, now you have more levels needed in the wolf summoning. So experience actually goes a long way there. Yeah, and the Vlads will help the elk, will help the Bristleback as well. So going for and uh, not really for the how the dominant we expected. Going Vlads first. I think when you don't go count the dumb first item, you kind of don't go for it later, right? Um, no. Right? It's a really time-based item, I think. Yeah, and the thing is, you're up against Marana, so Helm of the Dom is not great, but the Overlord's fantastic all of a sudden. But yeah, it really depends on what your game plan is. If you're looking to just take down buildings quickly, you go for the Overlord. If you are trying to win early fights and take the advantage that way, then you go for the... Uh... I mean, in this case, he's going for Aras. I'm actually wondering, maybe he's even going to go drums kind of a build, but... There's a kill onto SVG. Got caught inside the Bramble stop side. I'm not anti-drums. Uh, you are against Arena though, so maybe you don't upgrade that to Bearing just because there's a fair amount of... Like, does really help you against Root or Arena or Tornado. Uh, in fact, it can be dispelled by Tornado. Yeah, that's also a thing. I, I would assume he's just gonna get like a reasonable time BKB and run at the Voka the entire time, every single team fight. Yeah, definitely sounds like it. Uh, CS wise, everyone doing pretty well here despite those early kills from Far Studios. The CS war is doing great. Even the Bristleback that dies is actually putting up a fight. And I mean, it's just the armor advantage he has over the Lone Druid. But you gotta be careful. Yeah, it's definitely. Oh, Fierce Bear almost taken down once again. SVG is taking a lot of damage as well from Heaven. And uh, the creep's walking in, but Cloud's Force all the way back towards his base, going for the Mana Boots, so that's going to help the Dark Willow as well to have a little bit more spam going. This time, Fear does resummon the bear instead of uh, waiting for it to die. <laughs> yeah, you know, Old Man Fear, still getting the hang of the hero, learning as we speak. Uh, obviously a joke, as we do see... This Lycan, man. This Lycan is getting a lot in the middle lane. So many denies. I I have big expectations. I think once you get the Vlads, you can probably go for a shapeshift move. Okay. Yeah. I mean, with the level 6, with the Vlads, buildings should drop. Uh, it's that simple. You should already start mowing down buildings all over the map. Working towards that level 5 Lycans, uh, like moves. It always kind of... <laughs> uh, it, it's weird to see the five little dots on the icon, but uh, it's it's a new mechanic, right? Dota players, they need a new mechanic here. They can't really live it out one as oh, the bear almost dies. Bristle. Will yeah, Fear doesn't have a resummon, so it would have been pretty nice to get that bear secured. Uh, he's just going to walk it back to base in the meantime. Uh, seven minutes in, it's time for the XP runes to be yoinked. Or attempted to be yoinked, but it's a one-for-one -one trade. SVG tries to grab it, but... We'll have one more leap available. Needs to be a little bit careful in the brambles. 
Will he be able to get the TP away? Heaven just didn't have the vision for the Shadow Realm. I think he would have had the damage. Yeah, it was pretty close. Uh, surprisingly though, that support 5 Rubik actually are level 5 already because the Alchemist uh, started jungling early. We will see a lot of contribution from this Rubik. He, I mean, even stealing the spears, right? There's so many good spells for you to, to take. AP mana drain on Lycan, so he can't actually shapeshift because he just doesn't have any mana, and that's also a way to counter it. Lycan is not a hero with a good mana pool, and uh, needs, yeah, t to just use his sh uh, wolves and shapeshift, he needs uh, about half his mana. Yeah, that is definitely a problem. Maybe he can buy Arcan boots or something later on as Lazerote. Chase down spear. Can he steal it? Okay, there's a uh, Rubik dropping lower and lower. No help, no TPs coming in uh, to keep him alive so far. They're just gonna slowly let him drop. Does have that soul and spear to try and stay alive, but Bushwhack should hold him in place. And finally he does die. He is level six on the Rubik, which is very nice um, this early on. Yeah, that's the, the dream. Alchemy is still getting a lot of farm anyways. And he gets to defend that tower and get off those levels. The 2k go lead can't even be deceiving, I feel like. The the greed like it's not like Radiance Draft is greedy in the sense that he goes late ultra hard. But if you don't get punished in the laning stage, you know, minute 15, minute 13, when you have Radiance Blink on the Alk, when you have Vlad's plus something on the Lycan, that's when you're probably very scared as long as that to <laughs> go die again, go rotation from here. Yeah, they are dropping like flies right now. Um, <clears throat> and of course, uh, we'll have to do the walk of shame back to the lane. Lycan, in the meantime, is struggling a little bit in terms of net worth. Wants to go for I Annihilate, but he's just invested up heaven. Doesn't have dust on him. And the folk will be just fine. Also, Lycan still doesn't have the mana for the uh, shapeshift. Finally, he does. But this Lycan, even though he has 14 denies, I Annihilate has 26. You are right, and SVG is like taking the farm away from him. He's actually blocking and farming that camp. And Cloud couldn't really pressure this tower too much, so it was just a free move that Far Studios was able to get there. Cloud still very far behind his Aghanim Scepter. I'm kid going for the Radiance Rush. That's not a surprise. A uh, wall. The Lone Druid, though, he's really farmed. He's actually closing in on towards his Millstrom. It's uh, it's not that far off anymore because he does have the Gloves of Haste on the bear. And then he's going to farm incredibly fast. They're actually creeping up for it. They're blocking the Ancient Stack. Just SVG being piss off annoying on the Mirana. And yeah. uh, will they counter ward the sentry? I mean, SVG is just roll. making hell happen for this mid. And also for the Bristleback, speaking of which, he's going to get caught out topside. He needs that Ags, but because they're blocking these camps and just being all over the place, it's going to take a long time for the uh, Bristle to get his Ags done. Yeah, it looks like the greed. Now, as you said, looking at the eyes of the Lycan, we were expecting him to be doing okay, but... Network wise, not looking that hot. Couldn't really ult in 11 minutes. Like, usually, would definitely would have wanted to make a move. Is this the timing? The smoke's actually ending on Lanzarote, so it's not like they can actually do anything. Yeah, the uh, Jenkins on that Mars is also very far. He's going for a Blink Dagger first item, so I'll just focus on initiating. Uh, surprisingly enough, I Annihilate's going for Spirit Vessel. I mean, it's not so surprising because it's a Voker, but in this batch, it's kind of surprising. Yeah, very rare, but against Bristol Alk, you definitely guess have incentive, right? Uh, even the Lycan has a fair amount of uh, HP region. Uh, in general, we just see the Double Wraith Band Witchblade, Double Wraith Band Orchid, uh, even Milstrom sometimes. Stolen Ghostwalk. Not really. Yeah, I mean, that's the fun part of playing against Foker. You just steal random spells every single time. He's got uh, 10 spells that you can yoink. All of them are pretty good. Ghostwalk definitely not in the top of I the mean, list. I mean, it's not right? perfect, but it's 
good if like right now you could go for a smoke gank. Uh, it is free real estate. Towards. Exactly. Uh, Fear has his Milstrom, which he puts in his back, uh, in his fourth slot. So, okay, now he swaps it back in because it was not doing anything. <laughs> so I think only the top three um, slots on the Lone Druid actually do stuff. So a smoke from Fart Studios. Gold advantage actually decreased in the last couple of minutes. We are seeing the Bristol farming stacks, the Alk still free farming out, but they see the Alk. They actually rotating all the way to the bottom side. And this could be a kill. Yep, he thinks he's actually safe. But in comes Nushim from behind. SVG has an arrow lined up. Uh, plus the SVG ulti. It does also work on the bear. So Solar Flare buffs up the lo uh, like, uh, Lone Druid bear. I got confused because it was called Logan. Which is kind of funny. Because, you know, the Wolverine. But... Logan the Lone Druid. Oh, oh Root, root, root. Hamstring, baby. Okay. Radiance is up, though. The Yauk did die uh, with the Talisman of Vision flying towards him. So this could be... I, I guess maybe you still need the Blink Dagger, though. So very greedy lineup. No eggs on the Bristleback just yet, although... It is 700 gold behind. And the tower is slowly falling in the top side as well. Hmm... Yeah. Right now, what's the game plan here? Blink in onto Lanza Road, catches the Rubik. He is gonna get controlled and taken down. They did use a lot for this. And Dark Willow is coming back in as well for a possible fight. The rest of the team needs to actually join in. Lycan walks through. Jenkins. He could for one shape shift. There we go. Lycan shape shift. First shape shift of the game. Going for Newsham. There's loot. And nice tornado from I Annihilate. Yeah, why are the wolves not sprinting? That doesn't make sense, right? They shouldn't be slow. Uh, okay, Lone Druid running in. Goes for the uh, ulti. The bear is actually just going to be fed away. Thank you very much, Fear. That's uh, easy money. 300 gold goes in favor of the Lycan. They will get the control in onto the Bristleback, but... I mean, that's a trade you're pretty happy with. Oh, jump in actually, from Jenkins. Oh, good. Telekinesis, Jenkins will be stunned as well. Wishwack was Wishwack. stolen, so you have to be careful. Nushim oh, does cut the cuts tree. on both sides. Oh, that's beautiful. The Lone Druid Bear, if it dies, that's going to be a... Do you call it a dieback? <laughs> I think it's just... It's not a dieback, right? But it's just a sad moment. Uh, Gleibner done. That's a super fast timing here on Mr. Fear. But... I think the the worst part of that fight is that the Lundra, the the Bristleback had gold for his eggs and actually died before buying the Blaze of Electricity. But he will have it anyways. And the next fight is actually going to be the test here for Far Studios because all of the timings have been hit. Uh, Blink eggs, Blink Radiance very close to M Kid. The drums Vlad is up for the Lycan and the eggs on the Bristle. I'm not so to the that is definitely a Carry fight incoming here for Fart Studios. Yeah, the so far Fart Studios. They're doing pretty well, but the game is again, just like last time, very close in terms of net worth. Obviously, part of it's because they have an alchemist on the Radiant side. That was terrible. But they don't really feel it doesn't feel like they capitalize as much of their advantage as they probably should. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, I also feel like once those fights actually happen on the terms of unknown, the Rubik will be able to get some spells, right? It felt like he was the one defending every tower so far, so he just died three times in a row, even though he was ha having a perfect game, got level 6, minute 7. But once these heroes frontline for him, that's when we can maybe see a little bit more impact from Lanzarote. Blink is ready for the Alk. I think this is it. It's time to go. Yeah, I uh, just want to at least get the last couple of creeps, but uh, nope. Instead, going for the fire jump, possibly onto Fear in mid. He has the Gleipnir now done, but Fear can... Oh, they missed what? the blink. They guess incorrectly. What? They didn't have vision of the lone druid, and this gives time for Jenkins to come running in with the arena catch onto the alchemist. He's going to get controlled up. 
The stolen arena does not do anything. Lycan shapeshift is going to be completely wasted. And that was painful. That is so unfortunate. I mean, it is still a very low percentage play. But if you stun the Lundrid before he can get the OT off, you probably get the kill there. Oh, that was a big timing. And they, they messed it up. Yep, that uh, got that, that was a bit of an oopsie daisy right there. Black and going for pipe, by the way. Oh, interesting choice. Top side, Logan the bear dropping low, but the new shim hooding still not dead just yet. Cloud running in. Can they find any catches? Here? Fear is gonna stay alive. No, the lo the wolf does find the kill. I annihilates another big target. M kid is slowed down thanks to the ice wall. I annihilate on the run. Heaven has a bramble in a sec. Gets the stun off onto the invoker. Arrow is gonna actually Arrow. Run onto the alchemist. But a bramble will connect. Alchemist staying out of range, so he can go in for the blink aggressive move. I annihilate invoker. Nice tornado. Can he stay alive? Meatball onto heaven. He heaven trying to dodge the damage here. Will be finished off by SVG. And SVG Marana leaps out to the side. Jenkins is going to be chased by the Lycan and his wolves. The wolves you cannot send back. And that's the problem. The stun comes out onto Jenkins. The Mars is surrounded. He doesn't really know what he's supposed to do there as he's just rooted in place. And the tier 1 tower to boot. So all of a sudden it just comes up unknown. And this is Roche timing. The thing that they couldn't really do in game 1 was Roche. But this time around... They take the tower, and with all of those auras, this is an easy Roshan for them. So much minus armor. Like, it's an insane amount of minus armor they're working with. And that's gonna be the uh, first age of the game secured. They also have the drums on the Lycan with the Vlads, and he's going for the pipe, so he's going for a completely different build than I expected. <laughs> so... He's that aura carrier, and then the Bristle's gonna be the damage dealer. You can easily have minus 18 armor on anyone. Like, two goose? How an acid spray is minus 18 armor. That's, uh, that's a lot. That does sound like a, a pretty decent amount. Butterfly will be, I guess, the item that helps fear a little bit. So, I'm gonna have to actually land those hits or be doing quill damage to kill him. Bottom side, Jenkins is looking for a catch, but, you know, he's so far forward every single time. It's kind of dangerous. His Fear is... Pace. Fear's almost done with bl Butterfly. Yeah, he's, he's very, very, very farmed. This hero is kind of crazy. But on the other side, you're going to have a pipe soon. Uh, Jenkins is going for PKB, so they're actually not having... They do have a mech, at the very least, but they're not building any auras on Fart Studios. True. And that would actually be problematic for them later down the line. Yeah, for the support specifically. I think the Lundrid can afford not having those auras, but... Uh, the supports are very squishy as they initiate on Jenkins, but... Oh. Okay. Top lane, Respect is down. And will they be able to take him down? There's the break. That's a big one. Getting the break on the bristle. Always nice. Doesn't have his BKB just yet. They'll find a free B. He's going straight up BKB on the bristle. Just uh, realizing that it's just very squishy and probably doesn't survive if he only goes Bloodstone. Greaves down on SVG, so that's going to be the extra armor, especially when they're low HP, that will help them out. Yeah, it's uh, a rough game for the both these sides at the moment. Because it's also a situation where if you lose a bad fight in a bad spot, you know, one side's got the Lycan uh, pushing power, the other side's got the Lone Druid pushing power, so buildings break quickly. Yeah, it's a very, uh, it can swing really hard, both sides, uh, as we say that they're gonna smoke here. Aegis is expiring, 
in two minutes. So this is not the easiest smoke, but if you find someone alone... Oh, this is disgusting. Dark Willow just got himself a free shard from the Tormentor. And he is rushing first item Octarine. I have seen this build a long time ago, but it is so hard to deal with because there are brambles everywhere in the team fight. Yeah, the bear's gonna hate it, right? Don't really have a, an easy way to deal with them. They wanna go BKB to handle something like that. I like it. The supports are really uh, chads on the side of unknown. They, they're always going for this very pub builds, right? But it did work well in game one as they find the Brambles. And also, SVG, the big problem of uh, having to deal with that shard is the curse crown is really nasty for, specifically for that reason he has guarding greaves you get rid of the uh debuff if you still manage to get through here a big jump onto i annihilate terrorize as well hold him in place a lot of damage with the bedlam as well i annihilate four staff up towards the enemy's high ground there's the shape shift is it mirrors lichen so incredibly slow what what, what is this <laughs> he's chasing but Okay, he has haste and movements, but he should be faster than haste, to be fair. Wow. Sent back. Lone Blue Bear is massively slowed down, so it should die. And it is an extra gold for the Alchemist. Jumps in, uh -huh. goes for Mirana, has one more leap on the Mirana. There's the arena catch on to four. Oh, Jenkins in response, taking down. Oh my god! They find a big cast. The Alchemist still has chemical rage going on, so he heals up nicely. The bear's dead a second time. I back. And yeah. Uh, this is This is painful. They they actually have nothing. Uh, they're gonna have to chill for two minutes, which means that even with the ages expiring here, you can probably see some extra aggression coming from unknown. You have the pipe on the like, and he's gonna have an AC. Those auras are adding up. This game is uh, getting harder and harder right now for uh, the dire side. Uh, yeah, you saw it. a four man arena catch, but even if you get close to the arena, Bristleback's quill spray spam does a lot of damage. Yeah, where's your. Oh, SVG. Almost uh, taken down, but... Yep, but were you about to ask, kind sir? I think they need BKB on this Invoker. Like, he's just dying too easily. He's going for this Shiva's Guard, which, you know, we kind of talked about it. It's good against uh, Unknown. Uh, yeah, I think he's going to have to go BKB. Honestly, cannot. I don't think he can afford this item, dude. Yeah. I, I concur. You're gonna need a BKB, um, and even with a BKB, if like like they have a lot of physical damage, so you're up against a lot of physical damage and a lot of magic damage. Um, yeah. I and, mean, mainly uh, physical damage though, so that's the big downside. But they have good control spells with young saber concoctions done. The dark willow spam roots. Octarine is up by the way on the willow. Oh. On the bottom lane, annihilate. Terrorize oh. tried to blindly catch I Annihilate. Yeah, Who is gonna just use his spells right he next to them? No! Oh, oh no. no! That's sad. And the Voker is a little bit later, but still a goner. I guess he is pulling three, four heroes away from pushing any of the lanes, which is a big plus. Yeah, but that's that's not ideal, right? Because he needs that BKB. And this will be the lane, that for sure. Uh, Jenkins did finish his BKB, but I, I, I don't even know what he does for him. Like, wh what's doing damage in the arena once he initiates? They're so tanky on the side of unknown. Yeah, this is a hard one. The... Lycan can be very survivable, but also he needs to right-click them. And if you get into melee range against the Bristleback Lycan, you do take a ton of damage. Yeah. Well, now they're cutting the top lane here. They're gonna, oh, they're gonna try and go for Cloud, but he does have a BKB. This is not an easy kill. Arrow. 
Okay. Let me find more. Not There's going to be Cloud guys. with the BKB going for Jenkins. Jenkins forced to pop the arena, but Cloud can just walk out of the arena. A lot of damage coming out with the Quill Spray spam. Jenkins is dead. Chase in for more. Now Cloud does need to be careful. He gets stunned up and he is dead. Does do a lot You're of damage to the back turn. The bear is about to drop. SVG needs to make sure he doesn't stun Nusha because he is dead himself. They find a two for one trade. And okay, the plus side is shapeshift and uh, the <laughs> Rubik's actually turned into true form. Uh, and the unstable concoction, a uh, chemical raid, sorry, did end. So, so that, means that is Roche is theirs. Yeah, they should be able to contest it pretty nicely. Unless Bristle buys back. Oh, they're going to head into the pit. This is dangerous. Uh, it's too fast. Can you actually stop this? Buyback. And okay. This yeah, could help. They, they should be able to contest this. And it's all, already half HP, so they can just steal it, really. They have Orchid on the Elk, though. He will have OT. This is not an easy fight. The Wolves will get Vision. Yeah, but they take it pretty quickly as well on the side of uh, Fart Studios. And they have no bristle. They need the bristle to contest. Terrorizing the pit five. They oh, they, can, they might be able to steal just the terrorize. Jump in from the alchemist. Does have Ooh, a BKB. Gets found. They're going in for Jenkins. There's a nice terrorize onto two. Jenkins is going to get control. He's dead. The bear is going to be the second target. No buyback available on either. Fear is in trouble. He does get the root off onto the alchemist. Nice meatball as well. Can they keep the alchemist alive? No, he is dead. The Lotus will not Fears be enough. He's going to try damage. a man fight. He's trying to go in for the engagement. Rubik's falling back. The Lone Druid's going to die. They pop back onto Newsham. I Annihilate on the high ground. Lanzarote staying alive, but they gateway <laughs> out of there onto I Annihilate. The They're actually going to try and hunt him down. Gets He's lifted up on the other side. I Annihilate man fighting up against the Rubik. Is anyone coming in? No, not even needed because Lanzarote on the Rubik gets it done himself. They take Roche and they take a huge advantage in the fight. Triple kill for Lanzarote. These supports on the side of Unknown are both Im immensely talented. They really are. They really are. Is Dark Willow absolutely going ham? Lanzarote, he was 0-3, and, and now he's 4-3-8, and because now this course, they can go in. They get all of the distraction away from the supports, and this game, this game is looking over. This Lone Druid is out of gas. I, I would concur. It's it, it's just straight up looking over. I don't know how you stop them, how you kill the Bristleback twice. Yeah, and that is the Bristleback that actually hits towers really hard with the scene red. They will not force anything so far, but it's coming. The push is coming. AC getting ready for the Lycan. That's probably when you group up. Yeah, uh, it's also almost the S and Y done on the bristle. So the the only way that he keeps on dying is the big stun locks with the arrow uh, control that they have, spear arrow, and uh, that's gonna get reduced as well with the status resistance. Mm -hmm. So that might be able to get him uh, his spells off in time. Doesn't even have the bloodstone yet. That's also another item he can go for that keeps him going. True. Yet to go that path as the lichen reads the smoke perfectly. But Jenkins... Lycan hasn't died yet. Oh, Jenkins does get the catch. Lycan shapeshifts. Sunstrike, meatball. They finally find the Lycan for the first time. But the Bristle's coming in from the other side. Can they uh, stay alive? The Wolves are actually rooting up Newsham. They find him. He's going to be a dieback. Jenkins, BKB, TP out of there. Cloud is very fast. Gasing in after SVG. Doesn't have a way to interrupt the TP. Uh, wait, no, he does. The Wolves! The Wolf root, I... Just keep forgetting that's a thing. Yep. <laughs> MK gets yeah, a stun onto the fear. lone druid Love and horn. the bear going in for fear. Can he get the control? There is a true form available, but they're going to turn their attention on towards the bear instead. There's no summon bear, spirit bear for 30 seconds. I annihilate's going to get stunned up right next to his high ground. Jenkins has no arena. Jenkins has no way to save I annihilate. And they're just going to break base because they have a. I mean, the only thing that they're lacking right now is the big push from the Lycan, but. Alchemist still does a lot, and so does the Bristle. They're going to go for four, tier bro. Fours. Yeah, they have the AC. They have so much freaking damage here. The banner keeping the creeps alive, so the backdoor protection is not going away. 
You gotta have to buy back this invoker. You probably are gonna have to buy back, because once the Lycan joins, the, I mean, he's not currently ne even needed. There's no fortification available, and they're not gonna get rid of the melee racks, so that a new fortification comes out. But the cloud is pretty low, but he does still have the Aegis. Okay, with that melee racks dropping, there will be a uh, fortification Arena two. again. Jenkins looking for it. Oh, Arena catch on the back line. But can they even get any more damage in? Nice arena. They only pop the Aegis. The Lone Druid Bear is about to drop once again. Terrorize comes out. Is going to connect onto Jenkins and Nushim. Both of them dead. The Bear is going to drop. Fear is going to drop. Everyone is in a world of hurt. I annihilated. Drag back. Come here. You're not going anywhere. Control is there. Buyback from the Lone Druid. But... I mean, what can he realistically do at this stage? He's just gonna run at you and shut this game down. GG gets called and Fart Studios are taken to a game three. You can pray, you can cry. Damn, okay. Uh, I mean, we knew the potential of that lineup. The beginning was very weak from them. They didn't really peak as fast as we thought they would. But yeah, it's still in case. I mean, they haven't disappointed us so far on uh, either side in giving us at least entertainment will it be a long one that's the question and who will t take on the uh, mantle to continue on in the upper bracket and who uh, will have to say uh, you know upper bracket is for suckers which would no. definitely be a jenkins saying uh, to just you know reiterate use those 12 minutes of pause time speaking of jenkins uh, all okay. chatting. We have some. Uh, you know, looks like they're a bit. Uh... Oh, he drink a lot. Okay. Honestly, I just don't care. <laughs> SVG using his own voice line right there. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I just don't care. Big bit of a flex. Okay. Um. Oh, bladder player. Dude, I can uh, My bladder is as small as you can get. It's awful. I mean, you're also old man Bowie. I am. I am. Maybe it's becoming smaller. Honestly, and... I have that as well, except for I also just drink a lot. Like, a lot through the day. Oh. Yeah, that, so. that is different. Like, even if I don't drink that much, I'm still peeing. Uh, I, I I might actually contradict the laws of physics because there might be more drink uh, liquid coming out than coming in. Okay. That's that that's interesting. I guess you, you soak it up through your skin. True. Osmosis. I or am very I poor what it's called. My skin is not dry. I mean, you're... Brazilian, if you have dry skin the entire time in that climate, I find that impressive. <laughs> SVG has the best Stepfire set of all time, so I'm just... Oh, we cannot see it, but it is the best one. A beautiful snail. There we go. Nushim does not have the Manta Ray Batrider, unfortunately. Oh, Jenkins is... Oh, he's actually not on the Ward Vision. Time to go. But now they're going to go in on to the Skywrath Mage. Is going to get first blooded. And they won't be able to get anything done in response. Because Broodmother's just chilling in the top side. Yeah. Wanting to... to uh, the battle I don't... Is he going to walk to bottom? What? What's the... Huh. What is happening here? Okay. Mother in a bit of a pickle. There's uh, everyone showing up. Lanza Road, Shotgun Blast. Rubik pushed back, and that's going to be another kill. Okay. And this one goes to SVG. 1k net with advantage to start the laning stage off with. And mistake, it is that Broodmother mid, of course, because we, you know, the Ursa got picked up. But yeah, their mid laner is a disgusting mid laner with horrible, horrible heroes to pick. Definitely. Not really. Something I should be, you know, you should be proud of, but you know, if it works, it works. We do not condone this disgusting Dota, but oh, it is entertaining. In the top so. lane, Mr. Jenkins, but should be fine. 
Yeah, they're looking at these lanes. Uh, the big question for you, where are we gonna have most of the fun? Uh, probably top, right? A lot of poke, a lot of catch. Bottom can get fun as well. Um, but probably top. Uh, even mid, we might actually get to see a kill if the Broodmother overextends. Okay. Yeah, I'm curious to see what's gonna happen. I annihilate in mid up against the Broodmother should have a pretty okay time. I'm wondering... I'm assuming Broodmother's gonna go for the Orchid build, but you never know. Mm. He might also go for another Aura game, maybe? Nah, they have Doom. He, he, he's probably gonna go more core-centric. Yeah, I think... I've seen, like, some Broodmothers going phylactery. Uh, oh, bottom lane. Going in, first blood, uh, well, not first blood, third blood onto heaven. His second yeah. death. The thing about this lane bottom is that even though the Doom actually becomes pretty good against the Laundred, it is a pretty hard lane. You just, sure you have armor, but you get out denied LCS. We can already see he only has three creeps against the eight of uh, Old Man Fear. Old Man Fear. Um, he's probably gonna kick my ass if I ever meets me. <laughs> <laughs> he's not even gonna remember us, unfortunately. No, he has absolutely no idea. He's gonna be like, hey, yep. who's the that boy? A what? I only know Dragon Knight. Never heard of him. Back in my day, TA didn't have an Aghanim Scepter or a Shard. <laughs> Well, but uh, Jenkins having a pretty good time in the top side, uh, which yeah. is obviously, you know, very uh, nice to have considering you're playing against an Ursa as a melee hero. Yes, Kunk is one of the better ones because, of course, Torrent, um, like later down the line, Enraged Torrent, that, that's a. Uh, Enraged doesn't work against Torrent. Did he get the much. first blood, actually? Or was it. Uh, no, he got two assists. Oh, okay. Oh, fear. Very low, but Cloud. Trying to get him oh. anyways and could pay the price. No uh, and he knows he's gonna die to SVG, but SVG is on a killing spree right now. Heaven's looking for fear. Uh, fear needs to make sure he doesn't walk too close, because otherwise he does get double blasted by the concussive arcane. Yeah, fear. Again, not really buying that uh, magic wand. I guess this here is just too broken. You don't even. Need to think of that. Above here, fear is here. Has been killed. Right. So, overall, pretty good start here for Far Studios. They have stronger lanes. They have, uh, they have done much better already in the early game. Heaven. Yeah. Um, two K. But to be fair, all three games, the laning stage was won by. Uh, Fart Studios. Right Every single time they won the laning stage. <laughs> that is it was true. afterwards where it went kind of... I mean, game 2 shambles. was more even, right? Game 1 was definitely a stomp, but... Uh... Yeah, game 1 was a stomp, but even game 2, the Lycan was behind and the Bristol was behind. Both of them were behind. Mm. Yeah, that is true. I guess the supports just... They, even when their cores are doing poorly, the supports are able to find... Uh, ways back into the game, right? They, they were the cores were behind, but Ruby got level six, minus seven, and uh, even uh, like they were just having pretty good games. Uh, the Bruto recovering a lot. We saw her, uh, her struggling a little bit in the beginning, but that even here the the quap pretty close. By the way, I got a tip for you from chat. They said uh, you need to get your prostate checked. So, oh, get a nice appointment. Uh, you know, get that old finger up the bum. All right, uh, I guess I guess that uh, there's nothing else that I can do. It's uh, it's time. It's oh, uh, no. the sacrificial time. Lanza Road gets taken down by Nushim. We have a crash. Okay, now now it's on the side uh, side of uh, of course Fart Studio. So now they can pause. But if the enemies pause, no, 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 pissed off. <laughs> well. Let's see if there's going to be counter banter. They've been pretty chill on the side of Unknown, so I'm not sure I expect anything. What is the nationality of their players again? 
Uh, from unknown, it is quickly gonna have to check. They have a Kyrgyzstanian player. They have uh, in the safe lane. That's M Kid. They have a Russian mid. Kiss show. Then they have Cloud uh, United States off lane. Lanzarote Ukrainian pulse four and Heaven pulse five Canadian. Very diverse draft. Very diverse players. That's cool. I always like to see teams like that. It's unfortunate that it doesn't seem to work as well as uh, maybe I think I wanted, right? Language sometimes becomes a problem. Uh, even the current OG, they were being flagged on Twitter, on Reddit for the recent loss. Hopefully they can bounce back. They still have a game left in the qualifiers. On the ocean does die in response topside with the Heaven TP. Um, I mean, they would should be fine, I guess. Lower bracket run. Uh, the Western European, like, oh wait, the problem is, I think, uh, Mao's also dropped to the lower bracket. Yep. I mean, they they have a chance to get revenge, although it's going to take a while for them to face Mao's. They still will need to beat them the Lions and then the loser of uh, Avlus yeah, but... and Passion, I think. It is wild that, you know, Western EU, this is probably the quote-unquote weakest... Hilly. Qualifies. Oh, I annihilate. Can he get away? Sonic Wave misses a mistake completely and will be finished off by Heaven. Oh, again, Heaven's a beast. Dude, he was baiting that rune, just waiting for the Co-op to blink in and gets to punish. That That's beautiful. Runs on bottom. Lanzaro, by the way, TP'd bottom as well in the meantime. Uh, MKit doesn't need any help top lane. He's getting full free farm underneath the tower as well. Uh, they have the big camp warded, so there's no pulling coming in. He'll, he'll be just fine. Uh, it's not like they can easily dive kill him either. Because Kunkas, Bat Riders, combined damage is atrocious. And that's why they can kind of like tri lane that bottom area, make some stacks happen on Lanzarote. Make sure that the uh, once the Battle Fury of the Ursa is available, they can get some good quick farm. Good stacks for Heaven. He gets the Wisdom Room. Uh, Cloud is struggling, but you know, he's a Doom. With that Devil's Bargain, he should be able to find a way back into the game. It's a very interesting <laughs> game right now. I have... Yeah, I don't actually know who I think is ahead at the moment. I think I would even say... though they're behind the net worth, I still prefer the position that the dire side is in i agree i think they have you know better counters oh good cookie that they're not as strong as it used to be i love full bore on the snap fire that range is insane the bear is almost down but nope you know, oh, look at that brood mother army coming up towards the bottom side of the map. He's getting his oh, boots finished up. Oh, boy. And it's coming. They're going in. The bear is just resummoned as well. The Kunka signs up. He has ghost oh, ship available. Fear. They won, and Mr. The fear. He's gone. Is... They might get the Rubik in response. Yes, they will. Mistake on the run. Nushim, can they have any control going in? Nushim's almost level 6, but not just yet. There's the Urso Vemkin rotating through through the gateway. Drops SVG, and Rage has been used. Still has healing loads and 10 magic stick charges. Jenkins is dropping low. The Doom gets thrown out onto the Queen of Pain because he got oh. level 6. And MK, they have missed. What? It's the Brood. The Brood miss, uh, miss chance. Yeah, the incapacitating bite. He stays alive thanks to the mischance. Emkin stays alive. Everyone on the dire stays alive. Go for the tier one tower bottom lane. And it was a full team wipe. He dies to the ancients afterwards. Look at that ward, man. The ward behind the tower. That's what allows the brute to get that angle to find fear in the back lines. Such a. I mean, they played perfectly. The Doom gets level six mid fight. Dooms the quap. They kill fear. The, the bear actually gets killed twice in that fight. This is absolutely terrible. And this brute is gigantic. Is this going to be the Orchid? I'm assuming it is... Uh, no, Phylactery. Okay. Yeah, Phylactery build, of course. Uh, can be skilled into Kanda. He's a universal hero, so Kanda does a lot. Um, 
Newsham dies to a neutral creep as well. What the hell? Why do we have everyone dying to neutrals? He was helping Jenkins far, but I don't think he needed help. It was a level 7 I Annihilate. Wanted to Sonic Wave. Heaven was right there if he went further for the Ancient Seal catch. But yeah, um, interesting play so far. Oh, SVG wants some of the spooters. Well, he can get them. There you go. Brood Mama has more where that came from. And as all of that happens, the Ursa that did not die is actually pretty he did darn die. close. No, he didn't. He walked into the Ancients and died. Oh, okay. I mean, yeah, yeah. But I mean, he died. He will get a fast battle fury. That's my point. Because he yes. spent all of his money. Hydas on Cloud, okay. This is gonna be a little bit of a different game. Not really as active as he was. Alonso wrote on the Rubik. Needs to be careful because Nushim's right behind him. Level 6 on Nushim. He thought he lassoed. Finally does get the lasso off. There's a Doom available. Doom oh, no. pop. I annihilate! Hello, thank you. Gonna be chased down and that should be the Queen of Pain death. Maybe Run not. He might though. be able to survive heaven. No, he finds it. Oh, oh no! He says I infuse raindrops. Oh, oh my the God. raindrops. That's crazy. Oh, that's. Okay. I'm actually baffled that he didn't just die from the doom damage. How is Quap always so tanky? This patch. I mean, all of the items, right? Gets the iron ironwood tree with the power treads, with the infused raindrops. Had literally. Every single necessary item to survive that. Mistake. We'll now have his uh, phylactery done. MKID still not done with the Battle Fury. On the other side, Fears. Milstrom is closing in, but he is a, a bit behind. Not what is massively. Right? He, he got a glide near minute 13, I think, last game. It was very much faster. Tonic wave catch onto the brood mother. Does he take down Lotus no missed shots? The healing lotus and the missed shots keep the brood mother alive. He's got max uh, level three insatiable hunger, so he should be able to heal up very nicely in the meantime and be just fine. They're actually chasing for more, knowing that there's no doom on cloud. They're just Even being aggressive. For necrotic webs i haven't seen that much of that facet just because it did get nerfed but you know against lone druid it is always good to have speaking of lone druid he might be in a bit of a pickle bottom lane silence not fast enough mystic Doesn't flare matter. he's just dead straight up uh, not enough to stay alive. Topside Ursa is going to get controlled up with the ghost ship. There is a torrent stolen right. by Lanzarote. The rest of his team is TPing in. Cloud doesn't have Doom for another 20 seconds. SVG, is he going to be able to get out of there? No, Torrent lifts him up in the sky. And they will finish off SVG momentarily. Probably, possibly. Yeah, they, they even have the uh, Fade Bolt if need be. So until it was a 3 for 1 trade, Ursa got a f solo kill, which was not bad. Yeah, still pretty good for the Ursa, right? He finishes Battle Fury anyway, so we'll be farming quite fast once he respawns. Uh, this Kanka from Jenkins, and this time around he's playing a, game, a hero that is way less YOLO-y than everything else that he played. He has a lot in his hands. I feel like he has the responsibility to kind of keep this game together as they find the Ursa, no OT. And they no kill now. There's also no Sonic Wave or Ghost Ship available. But still in cooldown, but mid kid is going to oh, focus on stack. the engine stack. Oh, that's a juicer. Needs that in rage. Uh, otherwise, he's going to die to the stack. And pop it. Just go for it, bro. He also kind No, uh, he actually failed the stack. Uh, while I was looking in that direction, there was a fight coming up. Uh, I Nihilate got killed off. Silence is pretty good. It's a uh, full on uh, five second silence, which against the Queen of Pain might as well be a five second stun. Damn. Blink Dagger, though. On to the new Sham Batrider. Uh, probably want to get that Brood kill. I feel like that's really 
the hero that you're really afraid of. Just this so much. Are they gonna smoke with this? It's definitely not an easy target. Uh, he does have Flactree done, is going for the Manta style. Dude, he has 2.2k HP right now. Yeah, he doesn't die that quickly. And they don't really have good burst damage. They have decent lockdown if they hold him in place. Uh, but they go too early. They also... Oh, okay, finally nice. they do get the lasso drag. Mistake with the Mortimer's Kisses. X mark. Yeah, they, they should have enough to kill him off. With all their spells. If there's no one to help, they can easily find the kill. Yeah. It is a lot of uh, spells being used though. Both the Kisses and the lasso. They're going to try and get some... Vision around the triangle, but Lanzarote is aware and might even be dropping some countermeasure wards. Lucian. Cloud does have a blink. Be careful, there's the Torrent Thor now. Doom gets thrown out on the bat. He doesn't actually have anything. So they double ulti him. Stolen Stole Ghost Ship by Lanzarote. Does, does throw it out. And the Ursa is going to go for fear, but okay, the Ursa now needs a lot more help because they didn't have the Brood Mother just yet. Gets X marked, gets lifted up, controlled in place. The Brood is too slow to help oh, so out, close. but he throws out a hit onto fear, and fear will drop. Chase in, Stolen SVG, Dorrance. and I and I Lake get sent to the side where Jenkins wants the man fight, but the Brood Mother is going to be able to at least clear up Jenkins. And the Brood Mother, after respawning, gets a double kill. Yeah, that. You know, seeing a lone druid with uh, 50 HP trying to run away, that's... Is lone druid dying? That's what you want. Three times already. This is not the uh, the free game they had in game two. And even with that free game, they still lost. So this is not looking great for Mr. Fear and the boys. Dyer's middle tower is you know, it's actually kind of hilarious. Mm. Oh, or interesting. Skyrath Mage started the game off uh, in like the first minute of the game, 0-2. And, and, oh, and now he's 5-2-5. So <laughs> that really shows how good Evan is on this hero. Yeah. Uh, it's yeah, not even really. a hero that you want to ban, but, you know. You just got to respect it. Yeah. This is one of those, if someone is so good on a hero, you have to ban it. But that opens up other heroes. Same with like they banned the Lycan. But that opens the Broodmother. Yeah. Yeah. Speaking of uh, choice, looks like SVG will be... He doesn't done. have Cookie. He just used it as well. The Mystic Flare comes up on top, tries to stay alive, but it's not going to be enough. And Brood Mama cleans up another kill. Six, one, and seven. They are going Roche, though. Okay. No. They scout it, but it might be too late. No Doom. No. Just could be a few Roshan. Still, a lot of time where Fear is not farming. He's actually They're taking almost... the gateway. Oh, are they? With the spooters. The spiders are coming in. This is taking long. The bear's getting bashed. This is not the Don't ideal bear's fight. almost dead. They're all they grouped up Doom. together. Doom on the Queen of Pain. He has the Aegis, so he will be able to respawn. But they are going to turn their attention for more Ursa and Rage is about to end. Newsham gets a lasso onto the Ursa, but he gets actually X mark back, breaks the lasso, will stay alive. In the meantime, Newsham's going to get chased down by the Broodmother. Newsham is dead. Silence onto the Queen of Pain. There's the lone druid coming in from the side. Can they keep the Queen of Pain alive? He's dropping low Sonic Wave. One Boy, more hit. Crap. He stays alive. 7 HP is how low he went. Mistake is going to get taken down. Cloud is the second one. Lanzarote has a bear will be finished on the Rubik. And that was very close. But that right there, that beauty is ghost ship. Keeping the Queen of Pain alive. The Ursa was a little bit too low HP when he joined that fight. He Even with the OT, he took a lot of damage back from the Kunkka. He also has a... He also has a Ghost Summer Cape. So not really getting all the damage necessary to kill Jenkins and... I think this Kunkka hero suits Jenkins way more. I think Jenkins is a little bit too crazy. And, you know, you can't YOLO that hard. So he's actually doing a really good job playing this Kunkka. Yeah, it might be uh, not a good idea to pull the brakes every once in a while. And that seems to be pretty impactful for them right now. But the question is, of course, they have a 3k advantage, but are they still in a position where they feel comfortable? Because mm. Queen of Pain, that was with an Aegis. And 
the second round, they even threw everything they had to try and kill off the Queen of Pain. If she dies with just the first Doom, then you're in a lot worse of a fight. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't say they're comfortable. I would say they're in a decent spot. Uh, they are pushing here. They're going to be able to sue the Tormentor, it looks like. I don't think they are in a position here to contest this as a known. So they will. This is going to become a you know, 5k goal lead. Very quickly. Yeah. Can they steal the Tormentor though? Uh, will they even attempt to steal the Tormentor is the bigger question. Because it is also a risky one. But they are nowhere nearby. So I think they're just letting the Tormentor go. Interesting. I thought they were going to... Yeah, the spiders, spiders are going to scout all over the place. See what they're doing. 100 bear in front. Still have that observer ward. But there's no one in the vicinity. Mistake needs to be careful, because Nusham's got that Blink Lasso, as you mentioned. He's chasing, Blink, Lasso, catch, onto the Broodmother. Broodmother's getting control, doesn't have the Manta style to get rid of the debuffs. And the Broodmother is dead. Heaven immediately gets X-marked by Jenkins. Heaven throws out every spell he has left, but okay, he's juking pretty neatly. They also don't get the vision anymore from sticking Napalm, but eventually it's going to be enough to secure the kill. Midlane got cut by the spiders, though. So they're not going to be able to push anything. Look at this. Summon Lone Druid Spirit Bear on the uh, <laughs> Rubik. Secure. <laughs> Doom gets thrown out onto the Queen of Pain. I annihilate on the run. The bear is chasing. The root? Root? I mean, he can't oh. hit because the Rubik is not nearby, but Jenkins actually needs to be careful. He tried to help out his teammate. They don't have Lasso available. Jenkins, are they actually going to chase him for the kill? X mark, drag back, Jenkins dead. Oh, that was weird, right? They got that kill. It was looking really good, but then you don't have any waves. You end up listening to your intrusive thoughts, and suddenly you're being doomed on the right side of the map. And this could even be a rush here for a uh, no. The Ursa, as long as he gets his enrage, should be able to take that one. Yeah, uh, it's. It's also a bit inter Like, Jenkins walks in to help I annihilate. He's who's already doomed. I. Like, yeah. He's dead. There's, he's got Yules, which is a nice way to try and keep himself alive for a bit longer, but he's dead. There's no way you can actually keep uh, him alive. I Annihilate right now is the same net worth as SVG uh, and almost the same as Nushim. And both those heroes do not actually have a free shard yet. This True. is just a straight up net worth. Very SVG, true. just go back to pro. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Well, you... He would lose the honor of being with the uh, casting of Cap, though. That uh, will be a tough one. As we do see this Broodmother actually going for Manta Phylactery, huh? I was not expecting this build, but okay. I guess Kunkka, usually just see the BKB rush. Can't really do that much against X. Dyer's middle tower. Yeah. Um, fear very aggressively looking for M Kid, who is gonna jump back and rage keeps him going Nushim trying to get the lasso he does get the lasso but it breaks very quickly M Kid is gonna jump in aggressively his team is nowhere to be seen because they all had to rotate through first torrent again gets stolen I mean every spell you can pretty much steal from Kunka is good there's not a bad spell on the hero he was so close to his BKB. He really wanted to finish that off in the camps there, but ends up surrounded by the Radiant. Kind of a tough game on the Ursa as well. It looked like a free Ursa game, but he he died way too many times already. It's starting to look like it's really on this brew to carry this game. And the Brood Mother, uh, I mean, he can definitely do it as a hero. Though... With the way the game is going, Nushim is the one thing that's making the, the game really hard for them. Because Nushim has been getting so many crucial catches with the lasso. Dude, uh, guess who's... Don't look at it. Who do you think is the second highest CS this game? Second highest CS. Um, well, it has to be someone weird. I just said Nushim. So Nushim? It's SVG. 
He has SVG? 200 creeps in this game. What? Yeah. He's just using full bar on the spiderling. Where? Oh, him. the spiderling. I was already yeah. thinking, like, how? How is it possible that he gets the... That's impressive. Yeah. I mean, obviously, a bunch is the spiders, but that's still impressive regardless. That's a lot of crepos right there. Uh, interesting game. Like, the brood is just using the spiders and the mental illusions to push the waves because it's very scary to show anywhere. And I think that's the problem of the Earth in this game. You don't really get to show at all because even with the enrage, even with the BKB, you're still struggling. He has the Bash Akuda, but I feel like this might actually need to be an Ags game. Ag Shard, I think so as well. It's, uh, he's going MKB because he, it, it, Lone Druid does have that butterfly. Mm. No, he's going so Bash right? Did he change his mind? Uh, yeah, he, he changed oh, okay. his mind. Oh, okay, he just changed okay. his mind, okay. See, Lanzarote, Rubik's got his Solar Crest now done. The supports are playing, like, there's also a Solar Crest coming up on Heaven. They're playing so defensively. Which on one side I like, but also the way that they have been carrying this game or series. Yeah. I, I you know, it's, I it's wouldn't, a pub wouldn't. style of support, right? It's not really how you see, you know, Tofu play or this, yeah. like actual season supports. They will smoke finally, though. Roche, I mean, in 30 away this time around. They do know that Roche exists after game one. <laughs> that is true. That was a, a, an interesting one where they just ignored Roche every single time and gave free Ags to the enemies. Oh, Fierce Bear gets spotted. The spiders! Good position. They have a tower as well. Those buybacks will count. They get some wards. Find SVG. Yeah, but they want the Lone Druid doomed. Or the Queen of Pain doomed. Or the Kunkka doomed. They want a core doomed. They don't want a support doomed. Uh, yeah, you probably... Okay, they're gonna take the tower with the Brood Illusions. Got those spiders. You've got Arachnophobia. Dota should have, like, um, Arachnophobia mode, because some games have it where if you got Arachnophobia, you, there's, like, a mode that you can press, and then the, they change into, like, something else. I have very soft Arachnophobia. No, wait, I mean, I if a spider watch. crawls over my arm, I'm a, I'm a freak the f out. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna scream. I will yell, but it's not like I, I'm not gonna look at a spider in a game. So it's not at that level. Yeah, I don't have it that level, but I do know a couple of people that uh, when I, for instance, stream, um, I one of my uh, friends, like. If I play Skyrim, he can't watch me play because there are spiders in Skyrim. Like, oh. to that degree. <laughs> well, I have... Um, I have this thing where... Like, if I'm in a cabin, if I, like, travel to a place that has a lot of nature... I... Even if it's, like, a very small spider that I know is not, not poisonous, I, I kind of freak out. So I, I don't really like interacting. Uh, yeah, I don't like interacting with... cavern in, like, wood spiders are a lot different than, you know... Yeah. ...city spiders that we encounter. There's a whole different spectrum to those mo uh, monsters. I, I ain't gonna be like, oh, yeah, cute little spider. No. beauty. Yeah. <laughs> Die. Actually, no, I never do the... I never smack them. I always put them in glass and then release oh, them. Oh, really? Outside. No, I smack the yeah. fuck out of them. I... I, no, I, I hate... I don't like spiders, but I hate mosquitoes more. Yeah, me too. me too. They make sure I can't sleep. Like, spiders, I don't even notice that they're there because they're not, like, in next to my face. But mm. mosquitoes need to just drop dead. TP from okay. XTP <laughs> failed from Jenkins, so now they can go for the tier one, uh, tier two tower bottom. Yeah, and Aegis on the side of the Radiant, so this is nice. If you force them back, you're pretty happy. Not too shabby. Uh, SVG. Does have uh, Guardian Greaves and 4 staff. Is pretty tanky. He has 2.5k HP. Missed Concussive. He actually went to the low ground. Oh, oh that is not good. Oh, the double 4 staff. <laughs> oh, no. 
Doom has been used. They need to all oh, just get out, beautiful. but there's the lasso from Newsham. Holds Cloud in place. He's just, not, just SVG just walks into melee range. That's how little he cares with his massive health pool. Yeah, it was really farmed. I mean, they still forced everyone from Far Studios back, so it's not terrible. The Aegis is at 3 2 2 at the moment. So we'll see if this is going to become a careful problem or not. Right there. <laughs> Oh, they should be careful. You, you, uh, you, never, you never know. <laughs> it's a it's a dangerous sentence, especially with Twitch chat. Yeah, I know. It is Sorry, a magic number, chat. though, on the scoreboard it is always. Intrusive thoughts, you know. You see the number, you just gotta say it. But regardless, X is going to be the Earth item as we expected. I'm just curious if he's gonna stop for the shard first, or if he. If he I feel like the X is better, and uh, the shard is just kind of a cherry on top. But we'll see. I think the shard's actually the better one. Because, uh, I, I, I mean, I think both are obviously amazing, but having the shard, because it's just, you get it faster. And you can constantly keep spamming or shocking team fights and stuff. Oh, they're gonna go for the high ground here. They do have the banner, lift gets used. They don't have an easy hero to deal with that banner. And if they had Bait scooters. with the illusion. Doom, Doom going out. There's going to be a big catch. Pull he had the green core. They lose Jenkins very quickly. The bear is in trouble as well. They find Jenkins and the bear. Lasso drag drags the broodmother to the low ground. He's going to get surrounded. They blow him up quickly. Fierce trying to man fight up. He oh, resets the, the bear, but the Ursa gets sent right back. Did have the enrage going, and the Ursa will fall back. Heaven's being chased by Nushim on the side. Bash. Cloud dropping low, but that's going to be the A just popped. Broodmother bought back for this. And M Kid needs to disengage. Queen of Pain goes deep, though. I annihilate here. Has the Yule Scepter. Has another blink. Can go to I'd forward. be dead here. And they chase him the road. Yeah, no, he's going to stay alive. But it did get a little bit dicey. No buyback on the Doom or the Sky. Okay, and there is a tier 2 mid, so that buyback of Jenkins is going to be expensive. But if you can get the lane of barracks, you're very satisfied with this one. And it looks like that is exactly what's going to happen. Stolen X. That's scary. Stolen X mark. Long duration. You can, of course, cancel it. Oh, they're going for X the Earth in the mid lane uh, for the Lone Druid. He's alone here. Oh, yeah. He's an old man. Mm -hmm. He doesn't have a bear to help him out. There he resummons the bear and goes for the uh, ulti. Will they drag the Ursa to kill him? He is going to get the enrage off. Go for fear. Fear. So the evasion is working you. right now. Sonic Wave. They almost take down the bear. Or do they? Lone Druid is dropping low. But he's so freaking tanky. He still isn't dead. Ghost Ship comes in. Is it going to be enough to keep fear alive? He's trying to lifesteal. But it's not going to be enough. He does eventually fall. The Broodmother is trying to do the exact same with the Insane Monger. But it's not enough. And they lose the Ursa, the dieback on the Broodmother. And this is problematic for the Dire Side because this means that they can push up the mid set of racks as well. But I mean, I like the attempt, but without the MKB, he missed every hit on that Ursa. True, true. They didn't really have a really good stolen spell either. It's only the Axe doesn't really stun. If you like get a torrent from Fog and he doesn't get you out, he doesn't get you some of the bear. That could have been a different fight. Oh, eggs on the Snapfire. Okay, that's, uh, okay. Uh, that's, that's grief. a little bit that, of a That's meme. what we call grief in the business. <laughs> well, Doom I... was baited, so they're probably happy about He's that. He's got Octarine. He's okay with it. Oh, he does have an Octarine. Okay. Stolen Honestly, again. I have lost a multitude of games from doing exactly that. So many games I've thrown where I'm like, haha, we're ahead anyway, yeet an ally in, and then they die, and then we lose. Do you mean you literally threw someone at the enemy fountain, or you threw the game by doing it? I did both at the okay. same time. Magic. Yeah, you are definitely pushing it. And, well, there's an Amplified Damage rune here. Maybe you get that to the Ursa, and there's a chance this smoke actually does something here. The uh, amplified damage might be uh, pretty big. Roche could be up in two minutes. It's going to be a die Roche regardless. And he's going to go for the MKB. I, yeah. Instead of the Ags, 
Yeah. I mean, he, he, they can't kill the Ursa. That's the problem. Yeah. Ursa also has Dispersion now, so he's really hard to kill. It is. It's a tough one, for sure. The Last game, at up. least, you had the Dark Willow, so you had like 50 Brambles in the fight, and he could not run away. This time, Disperser, there's nothing to stop him. Look at the Even if you Doom here. him, Disperser, gone. They know exactly what's going on. Great position. You're going to have to blink instantly. Oh, Fearless goes Jump forward. And she's there. The Lake Flash comes out. Mystic Flare as well onto Jenkins. The Enrage trying to disengage on the Earth. Uh, Xmark's not going to work out, but they do lose Nushim. Buyback comes out immediately. Mistake needs to be careful. They know he doesn't have a buyback, and yes, he falls. The rest of the team oh, on the run. Lasso drag onto the Rubik. Lanzarote will be a second one dead. They forced out a buyback on the Batrider at the very least. And yeah, that's about it. They did lose the Brood for another 50. Roche, we'll see Ooh, it soon Cloud enough if it respawns. Does he have a tool? He still has the mana burn. Huh. Interesting. Why? Uh, oh. New ship. That's think... a dieback, actually. Kevin will die in response, but... Okay. At least a dieback secured. Not gonna have to be that fearful for the Ursa getting lasso dragged. But you've got a lone druid in the Dyer's base. And that is a lot of damage. Oh yeah. Look at that tier 4 one gone. They are going they for buy this back one. on the sky. Brood they has have no high. fortification. Oh, this might be over then. Jump Yersa in, MK. He's do. not even fully healed. Sonic no, Wave. Fear staying alive. The Ursa is in trouble. Has the buyback available. Can rejoin the Brood Mothers here as well. The bear gets thrown forward. Resummoned instantly so that they can focus on to the Ancient. Mystic Flare comes out. Iron Eyelid dropping low, but a nice fear from the Lone Druid. Sends the MK kid back the earth is trying to cleave them down but can they hold them at bay mistake he's looking for a target here they don't have the doom they don't have the chance and that is going to be the series go into fart studios but oh they made them work for it yeah very close for comfort here fart studios they remain in the upper bracket but it was not easy and the next series